hello, hello, hello. You've come to talk about our Lord and Savior Ball? Hit me with it. Hit me with it. What? What news do you have about Ball? How are you going to possibly get me into the side of Ball? Hmm? I didn't realize you... Actually, you know what? I should have realized you were a follower of Ball. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> uh, as for the stream today, for no reason at all, I felt like playing some No Man's. I feel like doing some No Man's could be pretty nice. In this game, for, for no reason at all, the thing I love the most about this game... Is just role playing a peddler, is someone who just buys goods at a at a, a an undercut of the market somewhere else, goes to a completely different galaxy and sells it for an upcharge. I don't know why, but I love doing that in this game. It's one of my favorite ways to play. I design entire bases in this game around the identity of just having goods in like vaults and shit. <laughs> Now, I do notice you have no game audio, but neither do I right now, so surely when it actually loads, we'll both have audio. Oh, you're his chosen. Devour the hearts of children, peel the flesh of the innocent and all those who defy us. My stream has been live for five minutes, and I'm reading that someone's going to devour the hearts of children. Oh, my God. Great start. Great start. Hey, Hoop, you want to know something interesting, brother? I haven't slept since the last time I was live. Yeah, I just haven't slept. Sleep has evaded me. But you know what hasn't evaded me? Like a true man. <laughs> oh, it's just a man with a broken sleep schedule. Hopefully, I shouldn't be too low energy for the lemon stream. I feel like I've got energy. What sucks is I kind of stayed awake because I'm trying to s fix my dog shit sleep. And uh, I immediately have to wake up super early tomorrow to snow blow because we are getting absolutely pelted by a fucking blizzard right now. So that's that's fun. I'm going to wake up and have to snow blow with no sleep. I spawned in on a radioactive planet, bro. Okay, first and foremost, I need to get this fucking audio. To be good. There's no master. Why is there no master audio? Um, this is super loud for me, but hopefully. How's it? Okay. For two seconds before we go back to talking about ball, can you just hit me with a one if both the frame rate and the audio is decent? That's my biggest worry every time I, I start up a new game on here. It's just not that it's not like we're getting mega dumped on by snow. The problem is just that we had nothing and we had like 80 to 90 degree weather. And then all of a sudden we just get hit with snow. It's super weird. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we just spawned in. First things first, I need to get my scanner up and running, and I need to find my ship. To find my ship, I need my scanner, though. I'm just going to beam some rocks. I'm currently not beaming the rock. How is that hitbox? How is this hitbox hitting the plant? What? Ah. Just gather a bunch of starting materials. As a peddler myself... Or as I've been calling it in my head every time I play this game, I call myself a cargo man. I'm a man of cargo. I move things. That's all I do. I cry. I have blood, sweat, and tears when it comes to the cargo work. It's actually so sick. Dude, all I got to do is get get an economy scanner. Wait. That's why I'm not getting my favorite. Dude, these fucking... Rocks are giving me salt. Cause it's cause I spawned on a radioactive planet, bro. I've never spawned on a radioactive planet. Hoop, have you played this game before? You've had to have seen it. But have you played it though? Nope. 
This game started out and came out like ass. And then the dev team just through years and years of not giving up on the game have turned it into something that's actually pretty dope, I would I would say. What's up, brother? My urine is so acidic, I could melt, dude. <laughs> I've been there. Do you ever okay. Have you guys ever taken a piss? And you just hear your toilet like fizzing. You know what I mean? Like there's a chemical reaction going on with the with the with the toilet bowl. This is your first time seeing actual gameplay. Okay. Okay, okay. That almost makes me want to load up one of my other saves just to so show you some cool shit, but nah. There is a bunch of different paths you could go in this game. There's no, like, one big thing that you have to be focusing on. There's a bunch that you could choose to or just ignore entirely. My personal favorite part of playing this game is acquiring bread, making money, earning dollars. Any other way you could possibly say that. Uh. It's been a minute since I've started a save, too, so I'm, like, forgetting a bunch of stuff I need to do. I thought I just spawned in with a fucking analysis visor. Okay, I need carbon. So, what we're trying to do right now... Oh, nice. I actually just automatically got my starship signal. Okay. That means I need to start heading that way. So, that's going to be my ship. Basically, I spawn in, and I just crashed. Is what the, the, uh, the, 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 the concept is, right? I just kind of crashed here and I've got no idea what the fuck's going on. And you know, that's more so because I feel like it's a game that is less story driven and more you drive your own story. Even though there is like story and kind of lore things, but I personally don't pay attention to any of it. I hope that my goal for this starting intro segment of the stream before we do the lemon stream later is to acquire a freighter. If I can get a freighter that fast, I will be able to start priming my one of my favorite parts of the game. So like my top tier favorite part of the game is moving around goods and ha just having goods period. For some, I really love the fantasy of just moving around with like 100 million credits worth of shit on me. It's really fun. And then my second favorite part of the game is the freighter system, because you can get a whole fleet and send them out on missions. And I almost exclusively send them out on merchant missions because it plays into my cargo man fantasy. I'm moving so much weight through the fucking universe, I need a fleet to move my shit. Ah, oh, I love that image. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Rebel. When this game launched, it was ass. But now I think it's actually in a really good state. They just recently did an expedition, which is this time limited event that you can play through. Basically, imagine like if we we're, we're going to talk Baldur's Gate, they did a limited time uh, campaign that you could only play for four weeks, but then you would get shit if you actually played it. And it was really sick. And they just recently added the um, ability to get a bandit freighter. So there's multiple different classes of freighters and the only classes of freighters that you used to not be able to get were bandit ones which look the coolest by the way so basically you were just getting hard scammed and you couldn't use the coolest freighter in the game because it just wasn't a, something you could acquire but now you can and i'm kind of hyped maybe in the spirit of of how my twitch chat has become murder hobos whenever we play Baldur's gate maybe i try and make this save a bandit cargo man because you can do a bunch of outlaw shit i can move illegal goods if i want God, where it oh. i've never spawned on a radioactive planet this is horrible it is not the most fun thing to do okay needs so much ferret I need to start analyzing because half of the rocks around me don't have what I'm looking for. What up, water? What up? What up? 
Later on, we've got Lemon. Lemon is gonna... I'm not sure if I'll be able... I'll have time to finish the Sharn Gauntlet, but Lemon will certainly do a lot of the Sharn Gauntlet. And before we do that, I'm gonna be playing No Man's. The whole thing I'm going to be doing in No Man's is trying to get a freighter up and running as quickly as I can and start moving goods. My favorite thing to be in this game is a cargo man. Just moving weight. You haven't seen this game in years? Dude, I think it's pretty good now. Like Death Stranding, except instead of tripping around with boxes, I go to one planet, spend 100 million, go to another planet, sell all my shit, and earn 300 million. And then I just make bases at various economically strong planets because you can sort by strength of economy. So I make bases at a bunch of galaxies that have certain types of economies at maximum strength. And then I just throw a bunch of goods in all of my bases. I just keep hundreds of millions of credits just lying around throughout the universe. And whenever I need it, I just sell it and buy whatever I'm trying to buy. <laughs> need a... Oh, I can't even make a seal. Uh, I always this is the far to okay there we go I need you I'm out of shit fuck it's been so long since I've started a new save so space monopoly honestly kind of yeah I, I could not for the life of me explain to you why my brain is so in love with just moving goods around in this game but I am um, and then once I get a freighter up and running I can get a fleet to also move goods for me I have this base on my primary save that is just called Cargoman's Paradise because I got a perfect economy on a paradise planet and it's just sick. I made a whole mansion right next to the trading post. And every day, my character can just wake up and earn hundreds of millions of credits at will. He, he just doesn't care. Nice, Rebel. You'll probably like Dirge, Rebel. One of my Twitch chatters is a only ever plays Dirge. He's an enthusiast. Born to be a worker bee, forced to sit at a human screen. <laughs> Dude, you can get sick freighters in this game. I was just saying earlier, very, very recently, with the most recent update, they just now allowed players to get bandit freighters. Which are the coolest looking ones, and you just couldn't have them for the longest time. So maybe in the spirit, I was saying of all of my chatters being murder hobos in Baldur's Gate 3, I just do exclusively illicit goods sales. You can literally move illegal goods. Oh, I have never seen this UI bug before. That's crazy. As soon as I stream this game, it bugs. No, uh... All right, I'm finally leaving this dog shit radioactive planet, I'm pretty sure. Get me out of here, bro. Oh my god, I'm 10 short. No way. This planet blows. I'm trying to think. I've got an hour before I have scheduled myself to do the lemon stream. How far can I get in an hour is my question for myself. There's a few things that I absolutely need. So, since I'm trying to get a freighter by the end of stream, my primary goal here is to stack bread at every given moment. If I'm not earning money, I'm not trying... I'm not even going to come close to doing what I need to do here. There's a few ways to earn money. Such as you can do combat with sentinels, spawn a sentinel ship, and then sell it for $50 million every time. Um, and that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, 
even though I'd like to consider myself a uh, natural FPS player, I feel like I'm pretty good at every FPS I play. Uh, I suck ass at combat in this game. Real shit, brother. Real shit. I suck more than I, I honestly should. So we're not gonna go the combat route. And I no clue. I've never seen this AI or this UI bug before, and it's just spamming it now. Fuck a distress signal. I do not care. It's probably doing that because of my uh, journal, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't care to do that really right now. Oh, it's because it's going to make me search. <sighs> I actually have to do the thing I'm complaining about. So I need a hermetic seal. Sell alien children. If I could, I would. I just play ruthless business when I play this game. If I could actually sell aliens to, to other people, I would. No question about it. Uh, I think marrow bulb can sell for a little bit. But basically, my goal here is to farm nanites so I can go to the anomaly, which requires progressing some of the main story, but that shouldn't take a long time. Basically, I'm going to unlock the anomaly, farm nanites, buy the economy scanner, put it in my ship, and start going to work. What do you do in this game? It's definitely kind of... It's like a Minecraft in a sense where there's no... Like, there are a few things you could consider like primary goals, but it's really just whatever you want to do. I just like the fantasy of making money. I like making I like making bread, getting the sickest, fattest freighter I can, having the coolest fleet I can. Oh my god, there's a massive trading center. Let's go. Hopefully I spawned in a good economy. Uh and then just making bases at every prosperous economy I find and making them into mansions. Where I then stash a bunch of goods <laughs> and then eventually my no man's sky boner goes away and i don't play it for four months and every once in a while they do this thing called an expedition so i come back and play those because you get unique rewards like this most recent one gave one of the coolest ships i think that's ever been put in the game There is some like story stuff. I couldn't tell you anything about it because I barely pay attention. It just, it basically, from what I understand of the story, it just constantly poses the question of, is this universe a simulation? So I guess if that shit's cool to you, you'll uh, enjoy the story part of it, but I just like making money. <laughs> you know how in the same way that if you ever play an idle game, You'll eventually just realize that you only enjoy idle games because it activates your monkey brain neurons because you watch a number go up. I love watching my number go up in this game. I revert completely straight back to monkey brain. There is some cool movement tech you can do in this game. So when you melee, you can time it with your jetpack to get a speed boost. And then if you pick up one of the plants I just picked up, you kind of get an infinite one for a little bit. So that's about the fastest I can go unless I get an exocraft, which I've never bothered to get. Of course, I spawn in on a radioactive planet, which is lame as fuck. That's another thing you can do is you can look for really cool galaxy generation. And, like make cool bases there if you want all right i'm getting off this planet fuck this radioactive hellhole i'm gone also get me out of first person whoever uses first person not me i'm out i ascended it's a comfortable environment it's a comfortable commercial environment okay so it's a tier two. Eat, every economy has three tiers. Frost crystal would be nice. I could go get some frost crystal. 
Test boost. It's been so long since I've started a nuke save. I forgot I have to do all of this stuff. That's basically the game introducing me to how it functions. Yo, Ancient Bones, though. I could make some quick money. I need to blitz for the anomaly, though. Which is, like, the primary social space in this game. I need to blitz the anomaly. Tell me there's something decent on this planet. I kind of wish it put this signal source on the planet with Ancient Bones. Ancient Bones is a unique resource that you can make a lot of money off of if you get lucky instead it puts me on a sh decaying nuclear moon so i'm flying to chernobyl is what i'm flying to a decaying nuclear moon with uranium bro i'm flying to chernobyl as a planet why why is that where it puts my objective i'm gonna grow a third leg over there Because fuck you, that's why. It, yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong, bro. It's like when I farm for a specific kind of freighter, and then I get it, and then they make it a fucking C class. Like, bro, I, I have said no to the last five S class freighters, and you, the one time I want to take it, it's a C class. I don't want to land here because i can just find the site but i don't remember what site it's actually making me look for it's probably not that one all right fuck it, i'll just land what i'm looking for is whenever you get a mission where it's like hey fly over here by this planet land and then search for something usually if you know what you're looking for you can just find the building and land directly at it without having to do this little trek that i'm gonna have to run here but it is what it is. If I was good at combat in this game and I had a good weapon right now, I would start shitting on these Sentinels so that I could force them to have a five-star wanted level straight out of GTA and then fly to space and they will spawn in space cops. You can kill the space cops and then you'll get a signal to one of their ships and you can go steal a ship and sell it for 50 million credits. Unfortunately, I'm dog shit at the combat in this game. And I have a shit weapon right now. If I had a good weapon, I'd probably be able to do it. But uh, I would just get shit on. There's no point. Cypher signal. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares about any of this stuff. Yep. Uh, whatever. All it's doing is giving me the ability to make a base. And I need to make this. So I need, okay, I need two tubes and a jelly. There's my jelly. There's a tube. There's a tube. Fallopian tube with my jelly. Combine it, you get a gun that shoots things. Nice. Okay. It wants me to gather copper. Why the fuck am I being told to gather copper? No idea why. That's 400 away. That's 484. What is the closest copper at? 176, 120. 120. <laughs> you were that pent up about your rant about pony ears. You felt better as soon as you got it out. <laughs> That's a man dedicated to his opinion. A man with passionate feelings. Why am I being told to make chromatic? I mean, oh, because it wants me to make a base. Bro, game, I'm not making a base on this dog water planet. Real shit. You think I'm going to make a base on a decaying nuclear moon with nothing good on it? There's nothing good on this moon, and it's going to force me to make a base here. Fuck no. I'm going to go make a base at the planet with bones. Because maybe I can make some bread over there at least. Hopefully I get lucky. I touch down on that planet and I'm right next to a trading post. That would be ideal. Specifically a big trading post. I mean, I'll take either kinds. 
But a big one would let me sell my bones for more if I farm bones on that planet. Okay. I'm going to turn all of this into chromatic. Hopper is barely useful. Chromatic's great. You're anti pointed ears, and you will always be. Yeah, I don't think they're necessary. Pointy ears are cool when you have like one race that has them for one reason or another. But then sometimes you watch things or you play a game and it's just every single race that isn't basic human has pointed ears. I understand like basic bitch elf having pointed ears. That makes sense. I'll even take... You know who should definitely never have pointed ears? Is lizard-type races in games. Like, if they gave Argonians in Skyrim pointed ears, I would lose my fucking mind. Adding antennas. Ooh. You know what? Not a lot of games have mechanical races you can play, like androids and shit. And even when they do, they just call them androids... But you function as a human, you look like a human, you do nothing interesting, you're just called an android. Yeah, dude, lizards just have holes. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm definitely not making a base on this planet. Actually, no, I'm not even going to make a base in this fucking system. So I should just make a base so I can get out of this system. Just so I can progress this quest here, so I can finally get to the anomaly. That's all I'm trying to do. Yo, real shit, real shit, give me sharks. I'll actually be able to show you exactly the kind of shit I'm talking about in this game. Harpies have pointed ears, no shot. Okay, I'm going to save here and then show you the exact kind of race that I would love to have in a lot more games. What up, Platinum? What up? What up? Lemon is going to begin the Sharn Gauntlet in about another hour. But for now, I'm starting a No Man's Sky save where um, I'm starting a No Man's Sky save. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get a freighter before we do Lemon today is what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to blitz through main story quests. Make a bunch of bread and buy a freighter in an hour. But what I'm doing right now is loading up this save so I can show you guys uh, what I would love out of more fantasy races. I would love to be a shark. And I think the No Man's Sky shark customization is probably the best with the art style in any game I've played. Surely I have an appearance modifier on my fucking freighter. Do I not? Bro. Okay, I'm going to have to go to a base. Fuck me. Fuck me, bro. Uh, I think I'm at my base. Am I not? I would also enjoy seeing... Uh, da, da, I would also enjoy seeing insect races. That'd be pretty cool in games. Alright, let me flex for two seconds. How much bread does this character have on him? Oh, I just have a, an easy 220 mil. And that's just what I have on me. My ship is organic. This is a pretty cool ship. You have to actually hatch this ship. And it takes like an IRL week. Because you have to wait real time for it to hatch. Where is my other ship at that I wanted to flex? It's not going to let me. I guess not. Alright, well, I, I'm taking the organic. Look at my big ass freighter dude look at my big ass freighter dude oh my god i have a big ass star wars freighter dude i fucking love this game oh i love moving weight the idea of moving goods around for millions of credits look at my fucking freighter oh oh my god i'm gonna nut look at my fleet bro all right hold up i need to find my base
I need a humanoid insect lady with pincers. Oh no, you've lost me. <laughs> I would love for those to be in games, but I don't think I'd ever. Nah. Depending on her subspecies, I might get eaten, bro. This is a base in progress. This is a base in progress. Don't look at it. I'm terrible at bases, base building in games, but I do it anyway. All right. Uh, I should have an appearance modifier in here. Am I tripping? Am I tripping, bro? I'm not tripping. Okay. I think this save has it unlocked. Um, I got to save the outfit I'm using because I need it for later. No way. This save doesn't have it unlocked. You're joking, bro. You're joking, bro. Okay, I guess I have to go to the fucking anomaly. Yo, let me summon the coolest ship I own. Yes! The coolest ship I own, dude. This is a recent addition to the game. This just arrived in the game from a limited time event called an expedition. It was Expedition Omega. The ship is so sick, bro. It just hovers. It, it doesn't actually land. Look at its engines. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna fucking nut. And it's the fastest ship I own. Look at this thing fly! <laughs> All right. Anomaly time. Let me show you guys what a sick shark skin looks like. Belljammer has a lot of cool races. You want... You won't let them play, is it? You may as well let them. Fuck the setting setting reasons. That just makes them stand out more. I feel like the NPCs would have more things to say to them, right? Then again, I've never ran a D&D &D game, so. How much Quicksilver do I have? Can I just buy it? I can, bro. I'm just going to buy the shark skin I like. Watch this. Uh, where's the okay. There he is. This is my favorite way that a shark, like a shark humanoid, is depicted in any game I play. I would love to see more of this in games. Because as a kid, I shit you not, I would just read encyclopedias on sharks. I'm not even joking. Don't ask me why, but I just would. Uh, I think I have to be Traveler for it. Who the fuck do I have to... Nope, there he is. There he is. Let me make him look cooler, though. This is the coolest head shape. For sure. Do I make him a fat fuck? He eats good. He eats good. He's a whale shark, bro. Do I just be a whale shark? <laughs> Sharks are sick, bro. Okay. I need to figure out his coloration first. Do I make him basic bitch great white? Oh, I like the red teeth though. I like the red teeth though. No, I don't want to leave the modifier. Okay. Uh, oh, I can give him the stripes. Yo. I can give him the spotted from like a sand shark or the stripes from like, ooh. Yo, I'm taking the tiger stripes on God. He's got to have cool eyes. He's got a mechanic eye? No way. Yo! This guy is sick. I would love to see more games have a shark that looks like this. As a playable humanoid. Uh, I think I'm just going to make him dark colored all around. I think so. He's just so serious about everything because all he cares about is eating. Like every shark that's ever been born. Here's about one thing and one thing only. You can have capes and shit or you can have literal jetpacks in this game. All right. Yeah, this is basically what I would like to see out of more games. A shark humanoid that looks like this is so sick to me. I think this is the coolest way that I've seen a shark humanoid done. I mean, you know, you don't need the mechanic shit in the back of my skull, but still. Just like the general shape of his face, 
and how it fits onto him, I think is nice. I could deal with uh, a little bit better of a jaw, though. Specifically lower jaw. I look too fat. There's so much more smooth than that, you know what I mean? Alright, back to the save that I'm actually working on. Of course you have to bring up the shark cloacas, bro. <laughs> of course. Okay, listen, you, you guys had to let me go on the whole sub rant about sharks, right? I let you guys go on the whole sub rant about plain insect ladies and getting eaten by insect ladies. You had to let me do my little shark tangent. I will say, what is kind of mighty unfortunate is that I love, I loved reading just encyclopedias about sea life as a kid. As a little kid, preteen and and pre preteen, I adored sea life and the ocean, and I wanted to. I literally wanted to be a marine biologist. And then I hit a point where I knew enough about the ocean that now I'm terrified, and I will never. You'll never catch me on an open sea, bro. You'll never catch me there. <laughs> I learned too much too fast and got terrified. And I was still, I was still like, dude, yes, I would love to be a marine biologist. I'm still down. And then I learned more about the actual career. And I learned that they spend months at a time on a boat and they never touch land. And I was like, dude, maybe being a marine biologist is not for me. I still love sea life, but I want to stay way the fuck away from it, bro. <laughs> Both Platinum and Drew had the same upcoming. And River Monsters, bro, I used to watch that guy just fish on that one River Monsters show all the time. And he would catch some massive fucking thing. And I'd be like, bro, that is fucking sick. And then eventually he catches something that's a little too big. And I'm like, bro, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Every time, bro. <laughs> And then you know what really fucked me up, boys? You know what really fucked up the marine biologist's dream? Piranhas, bro. For no re Piranhas are more terrifying to, to me than most other things that I've learned about. And, I mean, the real secret sauce is that deep depth, deep depth fish are the most terrifying. Once you get to the levels where, like, the sun literally isn't shining anymore because it can't get that deep in the water... That's when you hit, like, the most terrifying shit on this planet. Every time, bro. Deep water shit is terrifying. But also very cool, but still terrifying. And, oh, see, me and Platinum are different. Bro said, my life is not complete until I get to the Challenger Deep. Oh, my. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong, but okay. You know what? Let me re let me hmm. Now that I think about it, may actually no, not even now that I think about it. I was gonna say that maybe the reason I'm so terrified of deep water things is because I'm also deeply afraid of the dark. So like the idea of being in a boat down there with a bunch of freak fish that we know nothing about in the dark is horrifying. Every time I watch deep water footage, I get scared. An absolute fanatic for for deep abyss abyssal marine life. I respect it. It is very fascinating i think it's one of the most just animal wise on our and not even animal just like life wise on our planet like living creatures on our planet i think the most interesting group is deep water because it's just the most alien and different you know what i mean or am i crazy am i just yapping i need nanotubes I need to make a what the fuck a construction re oh i know what this is okay i know what that is 
Cookie cutter sharks are born in Avernus, though. What's wrong with cookie cutters, bro? I mean, they are... Listen, the things that cookie cutters cookie cut are so large, they don't notice the cookie cuts. I... The idea of a little mother... Just this little asshole leech fish that just latches onto you and takes cookies of your flesh out. And you just don't even know it's there is so funny to me. This little piece of shit just hanging on. Does nothing. Doesn't work hard for a thing he gets. He just latches on. <laughs> Isn't the caviar trade like. Really fucked up. Aren't most sea like fish trades really fucked up everything i've ever learned about how people acquire fish for food and stuff has always sounded awful i remember the main one that broke my heart was learning about like shark fin soup overfishing is crazy oh my god it's gonna make me find a fucking It, you know how horrifying it would be? Imagine being a shark. You're just chilling. You fall for somebody's bait. GG, well played. That's fine. At least kill me quick. They don't even kill you. They cut your fins off and toss you back in. So you just slowly sink and die. Bro. At least kill him. At least use everything. Make it painless. Like, bro. That was always the horrifying part of, of learning about... A lot of the overfishing with no dude i got so cucked by the game it spawned what i needed too low and now i can't get down there to get it man man and now i'm in a fucking cave dude you know what that's actually a perfect way to describe cookie cutter sharks they are just chihuahuas aren't they Little assholes with a bite that do not care how large you are. They will take a bite regardless. Exactly, water. That's the... Yeah, I would understand it. But, dude, they just take the fins and toss the motherfucker. They don't even kill him. They actually just... Doom the shark to getting suffocated. Remember, I did a paper on it in middle school. And it was so funny because it was like a part, like, um, I was going to say a party essay, if you know what I mean. Like, it was a group essay because we had to present it. And I remember I picked the topic and the two people working with me were so not enthused every time. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that aces presentations without trying. So I would walk up. Be so passionate about it because I actually cared about sharks. Talk all this shit and then my partner would follow up and would just completely blunder. You really, really want to pet a you want to pet a tiger shark? I I do too. Though so, aren't <laughs> you know it's. My shark knowledge is a bit dated. It's a bit old, so... I hope I don't make myself sound stupid by saying something wrong here. But I'm pretty sure... Aren't tiger sharks, like, one of the only species of shark that can just chill in a freshwater uh, environment as long as it has a connection to seawater? Which is, therefore, like, they are technically more dangerous to us? Watch me just be dead wrong. Why am I on an irradiated planet, bro? Of all places. Oh, I am thinking of bull sharks. Oh my, you're right. No, tigers, yeah, no, you're fucking right. I'm thinking of bulls. Tiger sharks are cool because their teeth are like jagged, right? 
They like have that weird angle in them that juts off randomly. I am thinking of bull sharks though. As soon as I saw the word bull shark, my brain clicked and I instantly remembered it. It's horrifying to me to think of that you could just chill, like swim in a river that just so happens like super down the line connects to the ocean. And you're like, dude, the worst thing I'm gonna find here is like, you know, just gonna be fucking nothing that I have to worry about. I could just swim in this river, no biggie. And then there's a fucking bull shark just chilling. Dude, I know. Everybody thinks the great white is this absolute demon monster that kills more humans than any other and it's just because of jaws don't get me wrong i love watching jaws jaws is one of the few very few um very few movies that or movie franchises that i've watched multiple times most movies i watch once and most franchises i only if there's one movie to rewatch i'll rewatch that one i usually don't rewatch them all I rewatched Jaws 1 through 3 a few times. I love them, but they really fucked over the Great White bad. <laughs> Land praise are the literal spawn of ball. <laughs> Dude, where is the Feyrite? Fuck this irradiated planet, bro. There is never Feyrite on this bitch. Tiger sharks are cool because they're named after tigers. <laughs> that is one reason they are cool. <laughs> I remember I had this one great white tooth necklace. By the way, whenever I go to an aquarium, why do they have the their why does their gift shop have have the most bitch made shark teeth? Just the most bitch made shark teeth. I remember as a kid. I constantly wanted a, a great white shark tooth uh, necklace. Could never get a good one. Then I finally got a very decent one. Like one that I was actually real shit just happy with. And then I lost it like two months later. And I could never find it. What's fucked up is I lost it in like this park area that I would frequent. So I knew every single corner of this place. And I knew back then I was able to like trace my steps really fucking well my brain just cataloged everything i did so i checked everywhere i had been and i could not find it bro a tragedy and i've not had a necklace like it since if i ever get bread boys i will absolutely just have a megalodon tooth just chilling in my house am i the only one I'm so down to just have a big ass tooth just chilling. Just walk into my kitchen, just chilling there. I'm like, yo, it's my Megalodon tooth, bro. I'd name him Fred. He eats with me. I'm such a whore for Megalodon teeth, bro. More than a few times I have frequented places you can buy them and just looked at all of the teeth they have available. <laughs> More than a few times. I've looked at it and been like, yeah, if I had the money, it'd be this one. <laughs> the amount of times I've window shopped Megalodon teeth is... <laughs> oh, man. Just imagine having a, a set of teeth. One tooth from every cool shark. Like, what are the ones that are absolutely necessary? To me, Great White, Bull, Tiger, honestly, Mako... Love a good Mako tooth. Not even... I can't even remember jack shit about the tooth. Just because Mako's being able to s swim as fast as they can automatically means I need a tooth. You have a Megalodon tooth? That's fucking sick. That's what you're referring to, right, Platinum? That's fucking dope. Unless you mean the the great white necklace I was talking about earlier. 
One of the two. Where the fuck is my ferrite dust, bro? I'm going so slow. I honest to God fully believed I'd be able to get a freighter in an hour. But then I got put on a planet that has no ferrite. Like, bro, this is a rock. Don't give me salt. Give me ferrite. And it only gives me ferrite on break. And then the only shit that has guaranteed easy ferrite is small and gives me none. Oh, I didn't even see that you said trilobite. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. When I read chat, a lot of the times I gloss over a few words. <laughs> of course, the one word I chose to gloss over is the one that I should have read. Dude, where is the ferrite? Hello? Brother, this planet doesn't have rocks. This planet, bro. And of course, my base is here, so I have to do it on this planet. Where are the rocks? Bro, with skimmy chatters like milk. Dude, sometimes I do, bro. <laughs> Oh, please. I need so much ferrite. This is going to give me none. I need 150. How much did that just give me? 20. Bro. Okay, okay. Who fucks with swordfish? As a kid? No shit, bro. What are you guys know what I'm talking about when I say swordfish, right? I feel like that's not what their actual name is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You have to as a kid, real shit, bro. I used to have this thought in my head. I was like, dude, if I was a swordfish, I would be the Michael Jordan of jousting. No other swordfish would beat me. I just know it. I would be him. You're not beating me in a swordfish joust. As a seven-year-old, I held that and I got an ego off it, bro. Real shit. I would rock. I would walk around with my chest puffed up, cause in my back of my head, I was like, "If we were all swordfish, you're all getting fucked up. It's over if we're swordfish." I had that thought in my head, dude, as like a seven-year-old, just walking around kindergarten, <laughs> walking around first grade, sizing my teacher up, cause I'm like, "You would never beat me in a joust. You would never. You wouldn't even come close." You'd get pierced so fast, Mr. Schmidt. You'd get pierced so fast. You would not beat me, brother. <laughs> My teacher had no clue. I was sizing him up all day. You guys think you could beat me in a swordfish joust if we were swordfish? I don't think you could, bro. I play Marth in melee. I'm a natural born swordsman. I have a katana on the desk two feet away from me. That's not because I'm a weeb. It's definitely because I'm a natural born swordsman. You guys would never beat me. It wouldn't be close. The only one I'd be horrified of is Hoop because he would probably just bite my hand and eat it. How do you, bro? I'm talking about swordfish jousting and platinum brings up having someone sit on your face and getting pegged. How do you, how do you find the confidence to swap, to swap subjects that crazily? That's a leap. Brother. Holy shit. The fuck am I trying to? Oh my god, it's making me make the teleport module. I should have not have selected the teleport module. It wants me to supply it. Oh my god, just get me to the anomaly. I forgot how long these these uh sections took. 
I can't even power that shit. Oh my. How long are the tutorial sections, bro? I on God was very convinced that I would be able to, to get a freighter today. I was so convinced I'd be able to get a freighter. And yet it's taking nine years, bro. Biofuel. I need to attach it. There we go. What can I put in here? Let's put some oxygen. It's power. There you go. I did it, game. Now what? Now what, game? Now what, please? Now what? It's being fueled. I mean, it's it's being it's being fueled, game. Man went directly to South Park and Red Rhinos. But riddle me this: you can breathe while getting pegged, but none of your face is stuffed with ass. You said riddle me this as if like <laughs> there was something being posed you know there was a question being pondered upon there just wasn't you just wanted to talk about pegging <laughs> you said riddle me this batman like <laughs> i was taught i asked you if you could i i literally asked you if you think you could beat me in a sword fist jousting bout of combat and you brought up getting pegged that's the wrong kind of jousting brother the wrong sword. YouTube chat is a different breed. <laughs> Honestly, I will say this. The biggest difference between YouTube chatters and Twitch chatters so far has been the arousal levels. My YouTube chat is so horny every day. It's impressive. I wish I could be that passionate about being horny. Sometimes I just get a, I get a little boner and I'm like, man, it's an annoyance half the time. I get horny and I just get annoyed. These guys get horny and get actually excited. <laughs> All the neurons start firing. Alright. I have to... Go let my dog out. So I will be back. We're going to take a cheeky break. Maybe allow everyone's uh, horny levels to drop. Because I feel like everyone's arousal needs to drop by at least 15 points. So, because I don't have a BRB screen, we're just going to use the starting soon screen. It, it is what it is, boys. I'll be right back.
the snow is coming down hard as fuck. That's so annoying. Uh, that's so unfortunate. But, I think... Here's the thing. Do I do a cheeky additional hour of no man's to give more of the regulars ready to sh time to show up for lemon? We're missing a lot of people. And lemon's going to get right into it. He is saved literally two steps away from speaking to Balthazar. Like as soon as lemon gets loaded up, he's doing RP shit. Uh, what was I doing here? Right, 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 right. Give me this. I'm thinking I'll probably just do a cheeky additional hour. Just to give more people some time. Killing Night Song makes the Kethrick fight so much easier. <laughs> Why? Doesn't it just end? He's just like, oh, you're on my side. Let's go. I've never killed her in there. I have no units. Are you joking? The marrow bulb is not selling for nearly what I thought it was capable of selling for. All right. Well, I don't have bread to buy things. That's unfortunate. I need shmula. And I need it now. I also need movement stuff. I need a lot of things. I need a lot of things. Wait, so it doesn't end the fight. You still have to fight him if you kill her? So instead of take, getting the additional help, which I think is worth the two, you know, the round or two it takes to get her. Plus, you can also just stealth in there if you make certain jumps. But you just are so kill hungry that you would love to just. <laughs> You're probably just happy to see her die. I've already upgraded my exosuit. Okay, I just have to TP back to my base. But my base is ass. I don't want to go to my base. I want to get out of this system. But I don't have a, I don't have a warp drive yet. Oh my god. Wait, let me make myself look cooler. This will feel more worth it if at least I can look... Bro, it banned beat his ass again? It banned beat his ass again. Alright, I'm... Nope. I'm, I'm too annoyed with having to... To keep allowing the same phrases over and over again. I'm gonna turn the fucking automod off. So, can we just not be... Can we just have, you know... Actually... No filtering on the sex-based acts, please. Let's, let's, yeah. Let's no filtering on there. Now let's change all of these to be lower. Can we please stop, um, lowering this shit, please? Can we stop flagging things that shouldn't be flagged? All right. Hopefully the auto mod does better now. Because I'm so, like, come on. I shouldn't, that's like the third or fourth time that I've had to permit beat his ass as a phrase. Like that's, come on. <laughs> We're talking about an NPC here. We're talking about pixels. Which side am I on? What sides? What do you mean? Um, I think if I go Traveler, I can what the fuck are these heads? Oh yeah, that's another thing that I like about No Man's. They actually have really cool mechanical heads you can choose. With your argument. May I don't think I have a side. You know, I'm not going to say that my, my synapses have ever fired thinking about the difference between getting pegged and having my face sat on. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not, it's... <laughs> It's not something that comes up very often in my head, uh, I have to say. You know
you know what? I'm gonna make myself a fat gek. So if you didn't know, in No Man's, the gek are the primary trading species. Which is why I usually play a gek, because it plays into my cargo man uh, 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 identity. What sucks is that the best gek head is something that this character doesn't have access to. I'm gonna go with this one. Make him just so fat. What's the fattest head? I want to just be a fat, wealthy motherfucker that just sells things. And does not care about you, your planet, your well-being, nothing. All I care about is profit. I am capitalism maximized. I nat 20 every time on capitalism rolls. Every single time. I'd rather have a woman sit on my face. Ain't nobody pegging me. There you go. There you go, Platinum. That's Hoop's answer. Is that satisfactory? <laughs> Red eyes, because I'm genuinely evil. Um, I do want him to have the wealthy shit. I think I care about nothing else. I was going to care about the way he's colored, but... Do I take a cape? Yeah, I take a cape. I surely take a cape. Yeah. All right. This is the new cargo man. Just fat as fuck, really short, four eyes so I can scan all of the profit margins at once. I can scan four individual charts of, of item value at once. I'm never missing a stock increase ever. Holy damn, he is... He is a beefy motherfucker. <laughs> I've never played a fat gek in this game. He is... Y Bro. <laughs> the ground shakes when I walk. It has to. What's the fourth one he's referring to? Probably her ear, bro. Probably. Don't Mormons do weird shit? How is it? Uh, bro, how is it? Come on. How is that bullying? This Twitch Automod is done, bro. It's cooked. Oh, my God. I just eased up on the terms, and it immediately flagged another one. Anyway, I was going to say, Platinum says he would be down with getting pegged, but he is not down with having his face sat on. I have no opinion on either. I must say, I have no opinion on either. I have to be in a position to have an opinion in the first place. Where do I need to go? Bro, they're 27 minutes away. And I have no fuel. I forgot how rough a new save is on this, on this game. I have just nothing, always. <laughs> the fuck is up with your Automot? Dude. Because I don't want to sit there. Like, okay. Realistically, I should just take the Automod completely off. Because it's, it's doing way too much. But I don't want to sit there and have to type out a bunch of terms that should just be default banned. You know what I mean? Like, and it flagged another one. Um. I'm just completely taking it off now. I thought I could just ease up on the auto mod. But then I eased up on it and had to... It flagged two more things immediately, bro. Okay. Let's just no filter anything. I would love to have it filtered, but no filter. I just don't want to have to sit there and manually type in a bunch of shit, bro. Like, I don't want to have to sit there and manually type in the hard R. It should just know to ban the hard R. You know what I mean? Now it fucked up my Twitch chat and I got to scroll down. Come on, Automod. You are on a roll today. It's ridiculous. Lemon in five minutes? I honestly am going to just rip a cheeky hour, additional hour of No Man's and give more of the regulars a chance to show up because a lot of people aren't here yet. Now, if they just don't show up and another hour has passed, that's on them, bro. 
but lemon's gonna get right into it the save is literally one singular step away from talking to balthazar so he's gonna immediately get into stuff rise of the only fans girls in twitch chat yeah dude, there's been two only fans girl bots in my twitch chat not today but just lifetime already and those are the only two bands okay i don't This game is going to make me do a bunch of annoying shit because it's the tutorial, man. It's the tutorial, bro. Is there sodium on this planet? There is sodium on this planet. That's so far away, though. Please tell me there's a close sodium. There's a close copper. Close uranium. As if I need uranium right now. Where is the close sodium, brother? Where is the close sodium? Where is the close sodium? Sodium. Sodium. There you go. God. Acquire this sodium. I just need to make it to the anomaly. I gave myself a whole other hour. Surely I can buy a freighter. All I need to do, chat, is progress through this quest far enough that I gain access to a social space called the anomaly. Once I get to the anomaly, I can farm resources until I'm allowed to unlock the upgrade called economy scanner. Once I get the economy scanner, I can start making some real fucking money. But I need a warp drive and I need to get to the anomaly. That's all I need to do. I shit you not, bro. I will go from making 10,000 units an hour. As soon as I get an economy scanner, bro, I will be making 50 million units in five minutes. On G-O-D. Where was the sodium? Wait, what happens if I cook salt? Does it give me? It gives me chlorine. Man. I was going to say, no, I'm not salt mining. I am actually sodium mining. I was salt mining earlier on the other planet. It's just what sucks when you start out this game is a before you get access to a bunch of stuff that is really, really nice. You have to go through a bunch of starting quests and whatnot because they teach you how to play the game. But when you've already played the game and you know what you're doing, they're just an annoyance. Um, but the real main issue is that the speed with which you are able to accomplish things is way slower because you don't have money to just buy materials. So you have to actually manually farm them. Now, I'm assuming... The power core it needs is going to be in the freighter. The crashed freighter. Imagine crashing your freighter. Could not be me. I could kill Isabel and save Dame so she could see a brainwashed Isabel and then watch me kill her. Always finding up with the most elaborate ways to get that additional like 3% torture in on your NPCs. <laughs> I respect the commitment to the details. There's no, there it is. They are my toys to play with. Oh God. It is a video game. Schematic for a hyperdrive. Let's go. I needed that. I needed that shit. I needed that shit. Okay. Well, fuck the exosuit upgrade. I don't care about the exosuit upgrade. Um, Let me literally actually abandon it. Fuck the exosuit upgrade. I need this hyperdrive and I need it now. Once I can start warping between economies, I'm going to be making so much bread. Cargo man will finally be moving cargo. I'm gonna make some fucking money. I can smell the units. They smell like vanilla. Yes. Yes, I need the money. I need the units. I want to buy a freighter right away. I want the biggest, grandest freighter. The freighter that will get me all the bitches and especially all the goods. 
Surprised I haven't seen a single word statue yet. I need microprocessors, you motherfucker. That means I have to buy them. Oh my. And I keep blowing. Uh, I needed, what else? I needed chromatic, so I need to burn the rest of this copper. Okay. Realistically, what's my fastest way of getting microprocessors here? It's not crafting them, because I can't. Um, I'm going to have to purchase them, which means I need money. But how am I going to earn money? I could do analysis shit, but this makes me no money unless I have... I need 137,000 units. What the fuck am I going to sell? I need 130,000 units, brother. What the fuck am I going to sell to make that kind of money? I know. I actually immediately know what I'm going to sell. Okay. I would like to not have to sell these, but I'm just trying to be fast. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So, basically, for those who don't know and don't play this game, what I'm about to do to make 130,000 fucking uh, buckarooskies real quick here is I'm going to go farm these berry tech modules. What these buried tech modules are is basically exchangeable currency that allows me to purchase uh, blueprints for things. Blueprints for my base, blueprints for technology for my base. They're very, very useful. So it kind of sucks to have to sell them early, but uh, progressing this quest and having a hyperdrive is way more important than the few of these that I'm, gonna, that I'm gonna end up selling. Each of them is worth 30K, so I just picked up 30K. Uh, there's gotta be one that's closer to my ship than that. There, let's go to these, yeah, yeah, these two, these, two, these are close. That's even closer. Okay, so I, there's 130K within 200 meters of me, which is fantastic. More units or more more nanites actually. I need nanites. How many I just got twenty thirty nanites. Okay, it's not worth doing anything with nanites with those shits, motherfucker. I heard tarantulas taste like dry crabs. You know, as arachnophobic as I am, I have to tell you, don't care what tarantulas taste like. I, I am so terrified of spiders. The, the biggest, like, irrational fear I have... How do I explain this? The fear that is most prohibitive to my behavior. Yeah, that's how I would say, how I would say it. The fear that most inhibits and prohibits certain behaviors out of me is my arachnophobia. So, I'm so arachnophobic, you could set down the most immaculate, best-tasting meal of my entire life. And if I see a spider on the plate, I would rather starve. Fried tarantula is real Cambodian food. Hey, I'm glad for them. I'm sure Joel Embiid loves eating his fried tarantulas. But me, I'm good. Joel Embiid is Cambodian, right? I'm not... I hope he is. I hope, I'm pretty sure he is. I pray to God he is. I hope I wasn't, <laughs> fuck. I get a better shield. That would be decent if I was doing any combat, which I'm not. Okay, pick my refiner up. Now I gotta go to the space station. Wait, what else did I need though? Okay, I have the chromatic. I'm gonna get my hyperdrive as soon as I go to the space station. Hopefully, I have enough shit for antimatter. If I don't, I'm probably gonna have to land on another planet, and that's gonna be mighty unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. Here's another cool thing you can do in this game, chat. You can divert power. As you can see, bottom right, you can divert power from your ship to certain modules in your ship to do more things. So since I wanna go faster here, I can divert it to my engine so I move faster. It's just part of the fantasy, it's so sick. And then when you're in combat, you swap between shields and, and, and weapons. And so you can maximize damage and minimize the amount that you take. It's so sick. This game's gotten so cool over the years. Mm-hmm. 
Jin won't... Your kleptomaniac won't bother to lift the shadow curse because she doesn't give a shit about saving people. I didn't even know you could lift the shadow curse. I thought you could try. But in all my campaigns that have made it past the shadow curse, I've left house in there. And he's just like, yeah, I, I guess I got to figure out how to fix this. And I'm like, yeah, man, have fun. And I go straight to Baldur's Gate. Here is your first introduction to my favorite part of this game, moving goods. Do you see how it says local trade goods and how there's percentages? You can maximize your discounts by getting really, really good economies and going to surfaces of planets to buy them because they're way cheaper. They're like minus 60%. And you can see if you read the little uh, info thing, the, the little info UI element that is popping out, it calls it advanced material economies so basically this sells extremely well in advanced material economies this is my favorite part of the game but that's not what i'm here to buy unfortunately and the economy of this system's not great oh i got eight hundred thousand units i didn't even notice how many of those i just picked up that's immaculate give me my five microprocessors um give me some wiring loom because never mind i don't want to spend that much right away um give me all your fey right real shit. um do you have any, do you have oxygen in here? You don't have oxygen in here. That sucks. Okay. I don't need copper, motherfucker. I can just install my hyperdrive now. Boom. Hyperdrive installed. Now I need, what am I gonna need for these, bro? I have access to making a warp cell, but why can't I make? The game's bugging, bro. I should have access to, it's not completing my quest. It's not giving me the recipes I need to make fuel. It's bugging. I need fuel. Sell me some fuel, please. Sell me some fuel. I'll take your fair right, but sell me some fuel. Oh my God, the motherfucker's not selling me any. Bro, you motherfuckers better sell me some fuel right now. Right now. I'm not waiting all day for somebody with antimatter to spawn in. Sell me some right now. Brother. Brother. Maybe if I get my ship, it'll fix my quest. Please. I need to be able to make antimatter in the housing. It's installed, game. It's installed. Hey, do I have to leave the station? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, there we go. Right? I earned bread. I did do that. I did earn bread. You'll notice I'm so good at earning bread that I skipped five different tiers of that milestone. People who don't play No Man's Sky didn't catch that. But if you play No Man's Sky, you'll notice there's like little journey milestones and there's different tiers. So like you have to do, let's say you have to earn 10,000 units and then the next ones you have to earn 50,000 and the next one's 100K. I just cleared five tiers of the earning money one that quickly. All it took was selling everything I had you know I have to search for antimatter traces Ooh, I don't remember having to do any of this bro just let me make my fucking fuel I know how to make my fuel just let me make it you think mm, would hate Gortash or Orin more honestly probably Orin probably Orin because I feel like you like Gortash because he has more shit to steal. So by default, you like him more. Am I crazy? Like, Orin doesn't have shit. You go to her bedroom, and it's just a diary of her complaining about her dad, like, not liking her. And she's like, bro, I'll show him. I'll kill better than he does. And then she never does. She has, like, nothing worthwhile to steal. You don't care. Residual goop. Wow. Wow. Cool goop. Thank you. I now know how to make antimatter. Carbon and oxygen. Of course, no one on. And there's none around me. There's just none close to me. There's just none. There's carbon plus. That's condensed carbon. I can't get that. Motherfucker. And of course, the space station wasn't selling either of those, or I would have bought all of their their 
uh, all of their supply. But he is also a politician and mm, believes in anarchy. Okay, so your com your complaint your your comparing fucking. Uh, I did not have a good saying. I was trying to find like a good s phrase or a good saying. You're comparing pots and pans. There you go. Oom's um gonna hate them both regardless. <laughs> you gotta find the one little nuanced detail to figure out which one she hates more. Okay, where's the carbon at? I guess I can, yeah, I can just shoot the plant. Was that enough oxygen? I hope it was. I think I only needed 20. I need one antimatter. I uh, it's condensed carbon I need, so I need to and I keep wasting fuel. Put not this much. I don't need that much in there. Only put 20. Put the carbon in there. Make some fucking condensed carbon. Thank you. Oh, so you have to delay your, you have to delay her death now, huh? I've never seen Hoop willingly delay someone's death. She will live. Shadow Heart dies. Oh, so you're not delaying a death at all. You're just exchanging one for another one. I see. <laughs> There's my fuel. Let's get the fuck out of this dog shit system. Fuck this system. I never want to come back to this system for the rest of my days. Get me out of here. I need tritium real quick. No, I don't. Here we go. Bring me to a good system. Look, so you can see here, they had a tier two economy. Now, I don't have any economy scanners, so it's not like it matters right now, but when I do get an economy scanner, we're looking for only tier threes. It's a declining. I got a tier one. Yikes. We're not buying shit from this system. We're not buying shit from this system. Where the fuck am I going? Fuel source? I don't need another fuel source, bro. I could just make fuel now. Why do they make me do these quests? I could just make fuel. Oh, so now you're just getting shit on. <laughs> See, Platinum, if you weren't so horny, maybe your characters would have rolled better. But you're too busy worrying about pegging instead of your dog shit rolls. Now your staring is prone and frightened, and two people are disarmed. Feel like you should just rub one out real quick maybe you can get out of this horrible combat with some post nut clarity you'll just see all of the chess moves you need to make to win look at this paradise planet so much nicer than the radioactive planet they could have had me do all of my tutorial stuff on this planet but instead they made me do it on a radioactive piece of shit I have to begin my search, but what is it trying to make me? I can just find what it wants me to find. It's probably this. It probably just wants me to find this. Okay. Surely this is what it wanted me to find. This is not even any anywhere close to what it wanted me to find. I'm a thousand meters away. Oh my God. And then I clicked out of my game. How, how did I even do that? And now I can't see. Oh my god, what's going on? And now I can't get in. Bro! My shit's fucked now! What? What's going on, bro? There we go. Oh my god. It busted my shit for a minute. There we go. Step knowledge, thank you. I need these words. This will let me actually know what people are saying to me. Awesome. Hey, it's crazy that I am a Gek, but I still have to learn the Gek language in its entirety. I don't even have, like, 
additional starting geck words, I've just completely lost. Like, dude, I'm learning the language of my people. Leave him. Leave him be. Okay, I should have shot him. It actually wanted me to shoot him, but I left him be. So now the statue's pissed at me. All right, I needed to channel more hoop there. If I channeled more hoop and I just shot without asking questions, uh, it would have worked out for me, but I didn't. I need to make more starship fuel. Oh my God, and I can't right now. All right, what building is it having me look for? What fuel source does it want me to find? Is it this one that you wanted me to go to? The other temple? Surely not, right? Surely this is exact. So I went to the other one. So I knew what it wanted me to go to, but I went to the wrong fucking one. Great. I need dihydrogen. There we go. Bunch right next to me. This way I can get my launch fuel. Eventually, you stop caring about launch fuel because you can get a piece of tech that makes it auto re recharge. But unfortunately, right now, I need to actually bother and make fuel. Come on. Give me up. Give me up. There we go. Learn some more gek words. So I can actually speak with people and hopefully I don't fuck this one up. If it tells me to shoot one again, I'm going to shoot the guy. Is it traveler or is it friend? I'm friend, bro. I'm definitely friend because I am. I'm I'm last. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like being first. Have I seen it? The both. Yep, 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 yep. Find us. I will find you. I think that's the anomaly signal. Yes, they gave me free fuel. I think that is the anomaly signal. I think I finally gained access to the anomaly. I'm like 97% certain. Maybe 96. Actually, I'm going to drop it down to 84% certain. If it's not the anomaly, I'm going to be kind of sad. I'm in space. Journey milestone. I learned five words. Wow. My vocabulary has officially reached five. I know five words. That's epic. Uh, I took to the stars. Find us, hear us. Okay, so I... It's not the anomaly. I don't have the anomaly signal yet. What, uh, what log does it want me to find, though? Yes, I just head towards the galactic core. It, it's not setting my mission properly. It's really annoying to waste fuel going to a place you don't need to go to. All right, I guess I'm going this. Hyperdrive has no... I didn't even put the fucking fuel in. I didn't even put the fucking fuel in. Technology recharged. I'm aware. I'm aware game. I recharged it. All right. It's a Viking system. These motherfuckers are always shooting. I bet the conflict level is going to be level three. I'm going to get nuked on sight. Engineering. It's a... Oh, they're untroubled. They actually have no conflict in the slightest. That's good for them. Their economy is only tier two, though. Kind of dog water. <laughs> Imagine only having a, an average economy. Identify me. I know who I was just speaking to. They are a simulation, and I received coordinates. Great. So I'm nowhere close to... Oh, I should have checked the... Motherfucker. Whatever. I'm nowhere close to the anomaly, I feel like. This is uh, unfortunate. Oh, your kleptomaniac wants to avoid combat, huh? Your kleptomaniac wants to avoid combat. Frost crystals. I should pick, like, quite a few of those up. I feel like. Those are kind of useful if I ever make anything with glass. 
But I might not have the hazmat gauntlet, do I? I don't. Fuck. Am I still on engines? Put me on engines. There we go. Oh, don't be a, a hilly planet. Please, no. It's so annoying to get around planets that have so much elevation. Not even certain what I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for an echo. Wait, no, I am looking for a crashed ship, aren't I? Might be this guy. Might be this fella. Do I see an NPC? Or is it just the ship? I don't see an NPC. It's probably not this ship then. But I'm still gonna land here. Are you mad about finding a dead Will at your feet? I would be happy if I went to my camp and the first thing I saw was Will just dead. I wouldn't be mad. Might even be happy. Might even get a cheeky little mood booster. Suddenly, it's an immaculate day. Oh, it's making me make the advanced mining laser. I see. I understand, game. But I wish you would just let me go to the anomaly, like, right away. <laughs> How many nanites do I have? Only 59. Never mind. I was about to cap. I should have bought wiring loom. I knew it. You always buy wine. I mean, I was broke. You know what? I was broke. I don't feel too bad about it. Um, do I just hope that the, no, I should hard guarantee that I have the carbon here. I was going to say I could immediately go to the station and just hope that they're going to sell condensed carbon because I need it. But in reality, what's actually going to happen is I'm going to get there. They're not going to have any carbon or oxygen or anything that I could actually buy and, ha and be useful. And then I would have had to come back to this planet. <laughs> uh, I don't care about the ship. Wait, did the ship have cargo at all? It doesn't have any cargo, and it is the most fucked up ship I have ever seen. I have never seen a ship spawn with this many defects. Holy! Okay, so sometimes r ships that have crashed spawn, and you can get the ship if you repair it. And you have to repair each of these uh, broken things, and they require materials. I have never, in all of my playtime of this game, seen a ship spawn with this many fucked up components. That's crazy. That is a total waste of time, and materials, and effort, and just everything. That's just, oh my god, get me away from that heap of junk. Pile of garbage. Oh! Anomaly! Anomaly! Anomaly. Send it to me. Yes. Ah. Uh. Get me on this anomaly. Right the fuck. I have no nanites though. I have no nanites though. I need to farm nanites. Hopefully they have a nanite mission. I need an economy scanner right the motherfuck now. Let's see, anybody in here rocking a cool ship? These are all real players. I see a bunch of the recent expedition ship. That's good, that's good. We got active players on this. Got active players here. Um, tell me there's a mission for Nanites, please. Nan Nanite, it rejects me. I can't go to it yet. Oh my mother fuck. Will you talk to me yet at least? You will. This is free, this is free. <gasps> are they all free? This one's not. Nope. Okay. So I can't get a free ship. That's just better than every ship else uh, I would be able to find. Can I have a free? Can I take this for free? <gasps> it is. Nice. This is the insane. So my multi tool is cracked now. You love to see it. Love to see it. My multi tool is fucking cracked already. Great, I get to skip a bunch of shit by having this already. That's awesome. Um, I still need nanites though, and I need like a lot. I've come to the conclusion that Shadowheart will die for putting a blade to Lazel's neck. He's just gonna give me no nanites. Oh my god, 15? That's just disgusting.
415. That's not that bad. That actually might be enough to get the economy scanner. That might be enough to get the economy scanner. Thank you, sir. Hello, you're the lady that called me. About this. I don't care about anything you're saying. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care. Please let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move on. Thank you. I'll talk to Polo. Hello, Polo. Polo, my brother. Uh, that's fine. Uh, okay. Well, Polo's not going to talk to me about anything I care about. I don't want to find Artemis anytime soon. I want to start making some fucking bread. That is all I care about. They want me to, like, go find some lady that's been talking to me, but the only reason I'm supposed to care about her is because she's been talking to me, and it's like... I got better shit to do. I have money to make. All right, tell me I can get to the economy scanner. 150? 150? Yes! Economy scanner! I'm not going to make it to that, though. That sucks, but that's fine. We're very happy about economy scanner right away. I'm about to make some motherfucking money, bitch. I need wiring loom. I need a terminal. Do you look cool? Do you look cool? Or do you, you, who the fuck uses that head? Ugh, you look gross, bro. Your little posse doesn't look much better either. I'm a perfect example of the fan base reflects the streamer. I, I don't think that's the case. I really don't. <laughs> I, re I really don't. Man, we got 15 minutes left for, for Lemon. I don't think I'm getting a freighter. And I also don't think any of the other regulars are going to show up today, boys. That kind of blows. Kind of blows. They're going to miss some lemon, dude. They're going to miss me doing the Char Gauntlet. And I still haven't slept. Who are the regulars? All right, so let's see. So we got Platinum. We got Hoop. We got Water. We got Adra. We got Felipe. Uh, Drew. I think... That's mo- Oh, we have Spam. But Spam hasn't showed up the last few times, I don't think. No, Spam was here yesterday. Okay, it's fucking money time. So what do I need? I need wiring loom. I should actually probably get it starting in my ship. Economy scanner. I need f okay. I might not have the money for this. I hope I do. Hope I do. If I don't, that's gonna suck. I also need fuel. And I need like a lot of it. Which means I need chromatic and oxygen. Oh, I need so many things. I'm just in a constant state of scarcity. In a constant state of need. I require so much. Surely, the trade station here actually has materials that I need for sale. If they don't, I'm going to be just the slightest amount of upset. Actually, way more than the slightest amount of upset. I'm going to be fucking furious. You better have money. Or you better... You, I need... Okay, what do I need? I need carbon. I need oxygen. Microprocessors and wiring loom. There's my wiring loom. There's my five micros. And you don't have anything else I fucking need. You motherfucker. I need the fuel, bitch. God, mother fuck. Mother fuck. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I still got bread though. God, I can start making some motherfucking money. Wait, I got to talk to you. Usually a lot of these guys that fly in 
have materials I actually need. Please tell me you have oxygen and carbon, brother. Please, my friend. You didn't have either. What about you? Will I hit the lottery with you? Can you just have all the oxygen and all the carbon? Just, just all of it. You don't have any of it. You don't have any of it, bro. And then I clicked out of my game again. It's a full screen game. Why am I even allowed to click out of it? A third ship. This is the last one I'm gonna check. Surely this guy will have oxygen and carbon. I mean, look at his ship. It's got so many wings. So many fins. Surely you have carbon and oxygen. They're so basic. They're so basic. You don't have any. Oh my God. All right, I'm leaving this fucking system. Oh my god, your economy is garbage. You're not even fighting. You're not even having any wars. You guys are boring. You don't have carbon or oxygen. Man. All right, let's start scanning some motherfucking economies. Okay. Here's what we do. Oh, oh, it's not installed yet. It's not installed yet. I was about to freak up. Boom, boom. There we go. Economy scanner. Lovely. Time to make some motherfucking bread. Okay. Economies. We need a tier three. We need a tier three. We need a tier three. That's a tier three, but I have no fuel. Oh my god, I have no fuel. Oh my god. I have to actually land. I have to actually land. Landing my ship is the worst in this game. I never want to land. Just let me stay in the sky. In space. Freezing planet? Yeah. I guess I'll go to the freezing planet. I'm not trying to go to the space anomaly. Please don't take me to the space anomaly game. You're going to. Man. Usually when you need a lot of a basic bitch material, like carbon or oxygen, a lot of these space stations will just have them. So you can just go and buy all of their supply and eventually you just have so much you'll never run out. But if you get unlucky and when you just start a save, they have none of it, you end up having to keep landing on planets and wasting a bunch of fuel. All I need is oxygen and carbon, and I need quite a bit. Oxygen and carbon. That means all of these trees are going to die, and I need a lot of oxygen to spawn. There's oxygen right away over here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. This planet has flying jellyfish that just glide through the sky with no gravity on a freezing planet. This life form makes no type of sense. How would you be here on a freezing planet? You look like you would be especially sensitive to the cold. Very confusing. Also, now that I uh, have this multi-tool that I have in my hand, this little scepter thing, uh, I basically never have to touch my multi-tool again. It's pretty much maxed out now, which is sick. That's a reward for doing the recent expedition, so. It's nice that for having put in the effort to complete that, I now on every save get access to this. Yeah, I just need like a bit more oxygen. I'm getting 20 per, which is one fuel each, which is one trip, but I need to make a lot of trips. Realistically, I want like eight fuel cells right now. Cause my ship is so inefficient. That's what sucks. The more materials you have in this game, like, okay, over time, the more you play this game and the more materials you acquire, the less you actually have to spend those materials because you upgrade your ship and it just gets more efficient. So you spend less. So when you start, you have less and use more. And over time, you have more and use less. Which is, you know, it feels great to make that progress. But then when you revert back to a starter save and you feel all the scarcity and it really hits home, it's like, ugh. Ugh, it's a gut punch. A punch that goes straight for my liver and even my appendix. I feel it in both. And I'm so fat. 
I feel like if my legs were a bit longer, I'd actually have an easier time maneuvering over this planet. Okay, that should be a decent amount. Oh, there goes a worm. This should be... Why do I hear a ship? Who's flying above me? Oh, they are. All right. I can finally make some fuel. How much fuel can I make? I should make all the fuel like... I need to refine chromatic. The space station didn't have it either. I can't even go back to the space station for the free landing. Oh my god. Wait, I know what I can do. This is another immaculate part of the trade outpost. I wasn't going to use it in this system because this system is garbage. But you can scan for a trade outpost to actually find a physical building that is called a trading outpost. And there's many uses for this building. Please tell me you're close. You are close. That's actually so... I'm so happy with how close you are. It's so annoying when I go to a, a galaxy that has an immaculate economy. I'm like, for sure, for sure, I'm making a base in this uh, galaxy because your economy is this good. And then the planet I want to make my base on doesn't have a trading outpost. It hurts. It's almost a deal breaker. If I can't put my base for your economy on a cool planet, I'm not... Fuck it. You're just not my galaxy for that uh, that economy type. Because you need teleports to all the different types of economy to maximize your profit. Alright, here's a trading outpost. The reason I needed this is so I can land for free. I'm being a real cheapskate right here. I'm landing here for free so that I don't have to spend any more launch fuel. And sometimes the trading outposts here, well, they will have different shit and better prices. But I don't really care because their economy is bad. Yeah, like... I mean, this would be... Actually, you know what? This, that's a good trade. Power generation. That's a good trade. I wish I had more money. Chromatic. They actually do have chromatic here. Oh, this system just saved me. This system just saved me on so many levels. Yo. Okay, that's all I can make. That's fine. Three warp cells. Amazing. That should fill it. Okay, it didn't fill it, but it came close. Now, we are actually finally going to start pumping economies. I need to find a power generation tier 3 economy. Please be close by. Please be close by. I want a tier 3 power generation economy. And I think power generation is red if I'm not if I'm not tripping. Power generation that's a tier 2. I need a tier 3 power generation that's close. Tier 3 power generation that's close. Tier 3? Nope, that's tier 2. Tier 3? Nope, tier 2. Where's my tier 3 bitches at? Where's my tier 3 bitches at, bro? Tier two, tier three, and it's cold. Yes. Okay, I should leave this system with a million bucks. Or close to it. At least a million in goods. There's no way. Okay, I need to scan for a trade outpost. I get better prices at local trading posts. What is this planet? A super critical planet. Wait, they put a trading post to do commerce on a planet that will relatively soon blow up. What kind of fucking logic is that, man? How stupid are these motherfuckers? Maybe that's why their prices are so good because they're so brain dead that they're willing to pay anything. What the fuck? Like... Uh who makes a trading post on a super critical planet? I mean, who does that? Sounds like a good time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, anywhere where massive amounts of death happen sounds like a good time to you, doesn't it, Hoop? Anytime there's a mass amount of death, Hoop's all for it. a lot of tritium it's actually not a lot but it's a it's actually not even a decent amount it's just an amount that i have that's more than i had before it uh. <laughs> god we land here make some fucking money 
and probably do lemon because it's been another hour no one else has showed up i'm falling off bro i never even made it I never even made it to the top but my fall off has already started my fall off as a streamer has already started bro i never even made it there to fall off okay the demand here is crazy the demand here is insane I bought it for minus 50 and it's plus 100 here. That is some fucking profit. Show me the milli. Oh, I'm 3k off from the milli. I'm 3k off from the milli, huh? I'm 3k off from the milli? Really? Really? You're going to make me look like a fucking idiot now. You're going to make me look like a fucking idiot. You're going to make me 3k off from the milli. Now I look stupid in front of my chat. Thank you, game. You do have really nice prices, though. I like this economy. I like this economy. If you guys weren't on a super critical planet, I would put a base here. But you guys chose to put your fucking shit on a super critical planet. Like, why? Why, brother? Why? Give me 900k. 900k? Wait. Oh, that's actually the worst one. I should have done 900k of this. Wait, no. I should have done 900k of this. Oh, I'm stupid. Whatever. Whatever. I usually just buy the most expensive one. So I like bread. I like shmula. All right, so now I need a mining economy. Just one more economy, and then I guess we do lemon. One more economy. I want to end with a milli. I want to end with a milli. I'm not getting a freighter anytime soon, but I want to end with a milli. I need a mining economy, which I believe is yellow. No, it's not yellow. It's orange. Okay. Tier 3 orange? Tier 3 orange. Tier 3? Tier 3? Tier 2? Tier not even anything? That's going to be too far. Tier 3. Tier 3s? Tier 3. Why are you both tier 2? Tier 3, but it's far. It is high supply, though, but it's far. A fucking tier 1? An illegal one? I just saw an outlaw mining system. Indium drive. I'm not going to have that kind of drive for a while. Is there no tier 3 that's going to be close to me that I can go to? Alright, well I guess I'm going to go fly here to then fly to the tier 3. I suppose I should start warming up the lemon voice. Hmm. I'm gonna have to start talking pretty soon here. Now, where is the trading outpost, sir? Don't make this take any longer than it needs to. Five seconds, thank you. It put it very close by. What kind of planet is this? Is this the paradise planet? What kind of motherfucking planet have I found myself trading on? Divert power to my engines, please. I want to get there even faster. Soon. Yes, very soon. Lemon will kill the fat zombie that, look like, that looks like one of my balls. His head looks like one of my scrotum. That's probably why his name is Balthazar or whatever it is. I'm going to just call him Balls. I mean, he looks like mine. Lemon Scrotum definitely looks like Balthazar's head. It's supposed to be highly valued by a mining economy. Motherfucker, I'm in a mining economy. Why is it minus 20? Why is it minus 20? What the fuck? I don't even know. That shouldn't be minus 20, but it is. Alright. Uh, that was cheeky no man's. How did we enjoy the no man's? I guess uh, you guys didn't really even get to see what real what the no man's I wanted to show you was. I didn't realize how many of those fucking how how long the tutorial shit is. Alright, what am I gonna name this Twitch stream now? Um Hall of Fame Shar Hater. 
versus Char and Gauntlet. Yeah, I'm just going to name it exactly what it is on YouTube. Change the category. Baldur's Gate 3. Here we go. It is lemon time. Oh, lemon. Baldur's Gate 3. Open you up. Go here. Go here. It is loading. Are we excited for some lemon tonight? Why is it that when I refresh my emails, Apple shows me emails from 2021? How did I instantly jump to four viewers as soon as I went into the Baldur's Gate section? Who is botting me? Here we go. I believe I parked Lemon literally right in front of Balthazar. If I'm not mistaken. You guys can see the game. Yes, you can. Very good. Now, what am I going to do about this bald-headed purple fuck? Wait, I'm a bald-headed purple fuck. Wait. Okay. It's one bald-headed purple fuck for a, versus another bald-headed purple fuck. One of them has a star cut into their face, though. And the other... The other looks like an idiot. Hey, why don't we light this place up? It's a little dark in here, don't you think? I mean, you have all these candles, and yet none of them are lit. I, why? Why wouldn't we light all of these? You have all of these candles here, Balthazar, and none of them are lit. Why? It just seems foolish to me. Why even have these candles here in the first place? I dawdle. When did I click on you, Asterian? I was clicking on candles. What? I don't care about what your favorite kind of temple is. What? I'm trying to light these candles. Don't fucking talk to me right now. I'm doing important shit. Do you think your opinion on this temple is more important than lighting this temple properly? I mean, Astarian, how egotistical can you possibly be? Yeah, uh, mm sounds like a, a perfect treat for the Emperor. You sound like a perfect criminal for the Emperor to eat. Look at this. <laughs> Why would you have all of these candles here and not a single one is lit? I mean, look at how is this even considered a candle? It's just a mound of melted wax. Well, I guess that's what all candles are. Just mounds of melted wax. Can you move Shadowheart? Wait, that's not even Shadowheart. Holy shit. You look like Shadowheart from this angle. Oh my god. Uh, Minthara, can you move, please? Can you? Thank you. Thank you. I just want to see properly. It is what, you know, I have a hard time seeing in the dark. I'm not very used to the dark. I know that I'm supposed to have superior dark vision, but I don't actually have superior dark vision, you know. Don't mind me. I just, I don't, I don't like the atmosphere of this place. It's too dark and damp and gross and dark and did I mention it's dark? I really don't like how dark it is in here. I'm a bit of a, fr I'm, a I'm a bit afraid of the dark, as you know. Wow, I never even noticed the amount of candles in here. Why did I just sit down? Uh, apparently I needed a break from the candles. It's a lot of work to light 57 candles in a row. So I guess I needed the break. I wasn't trying to click on this bench, but this bench is what I clicked on, evidently enough. So, Shadowheart, while I'm busy lighting this temple, are you perhaps happy that I'm lighting up these statues to your goddess? Is this going to earn me another kiss on the cheek? Because I don't want it this time. All right, I've dilly-dallied long enough. Let's go talk to the terrifying testicle face, man. Oh, gods. Okay. He only has a giant behemoth of muscle and no brain in there. That thing is all muscle. That's mighty terrifying. Minthar, do you think your smite, your divine smite, is going to kill something like that? Because... 
Good God, I think we're gonna die if he swings any kind of weapon our way. Okay, well, here we go. Hello, Balthazar. Let me save in case this game crashes again. I'm gonna cry if it does. Hello? The interloper? I'm quite... I'm a lot more than just an interloper, you testicle. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be acting like I'm a true soul. I'm supposed to be lying to you. Right. Um, yeah, you know, being naturally born, that's kind of a strange thing to hold against people, I must say. You know, just because I came out of my mother's womb and not out of whatever chemical vat you crawled out of doesn't mean I'm any worse than you. Not so. Womb births are such imprecise things. What it's are you saying? For improvement when it comes to flesh. Oh, My you're into flesh? Are more than a sum of their parts. Your creations look like they have no brains. They're mindless undead minions. But I would never tell you that because I don't want you to stick that one on me. I mean, look at his nipples. Those things could cut glass. I'm sure they could cut my jugular. Jesus. Um, who are you to create such a monster like the one behind you? How does a bicep even get that large? <laughs> Jeez. That bicep is the size of my entire camp. You are a true soul. There is y no yes. excuse for you to not recognize your better. I'm sorry, I'm just stupid. I, I didn't know you were my better. How does your flute sound? I am Balthazar, chief advisor to General Thorne. Oh, hello, Balthazar. Of utmost importance. Oh, you have a mission Do you know from Catherick? Do you? Do I know what's at stake? Honestly, no. But apparently I've heard of... Hold on. Let me consult my bardic tales. Hold on. More than a few tales sing of you, so now I know a thing or two. That's what one of my old bard buddies used to say when he would meet someone like Elminster or something. I rolled a 16. Apparently I know everything about you, Balthazar. I think I've heard a song or two about your atrocities. Honestly, there's probably three different bardic songs that can be sung about the nipples of your companion back there. Jesus, I didn't even notice it had nipples. You remember an ancient scroll rescued from an Ancatheran monastery. It spoke of Balthazar, the monastic order's leader. Specifically, it recorded his death. Oh, you're a corpse. Well, that's... Okay. So someone made you too. So if you made that undead corpse and all these other undead corpses around us, who made you an undead corpse? Huh? Who is the Balthazar to your Balthazar, Balthazar? Do you understand the question I just asked? It might have been too lyrical for you. But I seem to recall the tales of you as a monk. Actually, I don't want to tell you that the legends don't do you justice. I'm just going to say in light... You know what? I have my idea of what Balthazar is, but what is what is your idea of what Balthazar is? Please enlighten me, sir. There is a relic here. Okay. One which General Thorne resides. No, please. I Why are you fat? And you will help me. Ignorant you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. Ooh, see, you've noticed my talents. Not many, not many do. Trust. Helping him could be just what you need to gain access to the man himself. Mm, yes, thank you, Miss Narrator, for keeping my brain on track so I know what's going on. How about, you know, if you're looking for some sort of Rubik's Cube, and please, don't ask me how I know it's a Rubik's Cube. I'm tired of everybody acting like it's not a Rubik's Cube. Um... Could you just tell me exactly why is this relic so important? Are you trying to improve your Rubik's Cube score and your Rubik's Cube broke? You know, my, my uh, speed run for getting three sides to be the same is about seven minutes. But I've never gotten a fourth side. What, what, what does this relic do? Why does everyone want a Rubik's Cube nowadays? 
Do Rubik's cubes get you bitches? Fine, if it will spare me your bleating. My bleating. The the what is a bleat? It wait what? It must be recovered before his wait what? Hold on, wait a fucking minute. You're telling me the secret to that man, that man's immortality. Interesting. So I don't think it's a Rubik's Cube you're looking for anymore. Hmm. Well. well why do you need my help? Why do you need I to enlist the great bard known as Lemon? Help. But you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. Don't need to be an asshole about it. I'm here to offer my help, dickhead. Yes, it seemed that way. The undead wanted to have their way with my little, my little bussy. I will remain here until you have succeeded. Oh, so you're not gonna do anything? You're gonna sit here and watch me do it all? Wow, you're quite the asshole. Hey, can you not say that while we're in the range of his undead golem over there? Why are you, you, why are you acting like he can't hear you say that, Shadowheart? There's a massive fucking undead golem two feet away from me. The bicep on that thing is larger than my whole body. Can you not piss this man off so I don't get crushed? Thank you. Jesus, Shadowheart, use your fucking brain. Um, okay. Well. What if, Mr. Balthazar, what if you gave me something to help me search for it, hmm? What if, um... You had anything to spare that could help me find whatever it is you're looking for? Perhaps some gold, or better yet, do you have a flute? I'll take a flute. Don't ask me how a flute is gonna help me find whatever you're looking for, but I promise it will. I, I will assign flesh to a you're assigning flesh? I don't need more flesh, I need... That's a, that's a cute little bell. Oh, it makes quite the tune. Wait. My brother is no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, huh? loyal, and punctual. Who's Should your brother? I turn against you, remember the bell. Wait, hold on. Is... Is... He... Your brother? Nipple boy over there is your brother? And your brother doesn't have a face anymore? Really? That I strangled him in the womb. If you can believe such trifling. Oh, you are a troubled individual, aren't you? Developed my powers. Your powers? I him from the graveyard and brought him back. Gave him a new, better body. Alas, mother was long dead. Uh, sir, you sound like you had um quite the interesting childhood. Uh, I must say, everything you just said to me was <laughs> very horrifying. But hey, I'll take the fucking bell. That guy looks like he could squash me in one bell swoop. So I'm sure he could squash whatever else I could possibly come across. <laughs> Give me that. But don't fear. He has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears. Of course you chose his ears. You're quite the creepy individual. Get to work. Hey, oh, and Shadowheart, hey, wouldn't you notice... Didn't he just say that the golem behind him has excellent hearing? And then you wanted to talk behind my back about how much you don't trust this guy. Is there anything perhaps lacking in your logic there? Hmm? Maybe, maybe something about the decision to talk about deceiving this man right in front of him was not a smart idea? Oh, and you're gonna walk away. Yeah, don't, don't even take any responsibility for your shitty actions, you dumbass. Wow. Oh, you do it like a pro. You dodge accountability like a true pro, Shadowheart. Like a true pro. Uh, well, let's go Vault Door. Astarian, open it. It says Vault Door. Open it now. Does Balthazar taste like a rotting corpse? Definitely has to, right? Astarian, open it first try. Don't fuck around. You dog shit shitty rogue. Ah. 
Try again, Astarian. Don't fuck around this time. What kind of rollers are fucking 14, Astarian? Stop fucking around. This door says vault on it. Open it now. Oh my god, Astarian. Do I need to smack some sense into that pale little ass of yours? Why are you rolling like garbage? Swear to God, Astarian. Do not fuck up again. Astarian. Astarian. No, Astarian. Uh-uh. You need to be punished for this one. You need to be punished for this one, Asarian. Minthara! Punish him! Now, do it right, Astarian. I already touched you. Do it right. You won't get beat if you just do it right. You rolled a one. Astarian. Astarian. Astarian, please. Astarian. I don't like having Minthara do this to you. Hit him again, Minthara. Now, do it fucking right, Astarian. You're supposed to, you're I only keep you around to lockpick things. Do it right. Astarian, I swear to God. Astarian, I swear to God. It is not that hard, Astarian. I understand it's a 30, but it is not that hard. Okay, fine. Fine, Astarian. Fine. Maybe you just need some inspiration, huh? Maybe my flute will help you. No time to rest. Our now, try alive. again. This time, listen to my music. It will serenade you into doing a not terrible job, you shitty fucking awful rogue. You still roll like shit! Kill him. Kill him. Nope. Kill him. Mm. Kill him. He deserves it. My, It's not my flute's fault. That's his. You're Fuck it. Hey, me. everyone take a swing. Everyone take a swing. He's been too pompous all along, hasn't he? Everyone take a swing. Yeah, I crit you. Disapprove my ass. Shut up, Astarian. This is your fault. I realize Shadowheart has nothing to hit him with. Go cower in the corner, girl, you idiot. Astarian. Unlock this fucking door now. I can't believe I wasted a bardic inspiration on you f just for you to be garbage and miss your role. How do you fucking miss? How? Astarian, this is getting really fucking annoying. Thank you, you piece of shit. You could have done that on the first try. I wouldn't have had to hit you for 30 fucking damage. God, Astarian. Look at all that blood that I had to spill. Just to get some decent performance out of you. Let's light this place up. Let's see, what did they got here? Bunch of bullshit. A bunch of bullshit. A dead guy who only has bullshit. His backpack has nothing, not even bullshit. What about this? It's got one ring. Okay. What about... Oh. Oh. Fuck the infernal iron. Karlak already hates me. Teachings of loss. Well, I'm a curious man. What could loss teach you? It's just a meme on the internet. Breathe in and out. Look inward. What in the deepest, deepest reaches of yourself do you see? A bright and blinding light. A harsh, exacting sun. Or instead, do you find a comforting velvet darkness? A womb-like place where all you are, exactly as you are, can find repose. This is the darkness Shah provides. A darkness free from judgment, free from scrutiny, in which we are invited to exist in our purest essence, our most essential selves. Hey, Shadowheart, this book makes your religion sound cooler than you've ever made it sound. I almost want to think about what Shah is like now, but... You've given me such a bad taste with Shar that I... I don't think I'll ever be able to give her a chance anymore, Shadowheart. How does that make you feel? As a Shar and Zealot yourself, Shadowheart, how does it make you feel that everything you've ever said about Shar and religion is the single reason why I would never consider being a Sharin? How does that make you feel? How does it feel, Shadowheart, to know that you are the very reason your god is losing me as a follower? 
Nothing to say? Of course not. You never take accountability for anything. Now, let's go to... What am I stuck on? Let's go to these other doors. Astarian, do you smell anything good in these books? Do you smell anything good in these books, Astarian? Or do you only smell the blood that I've beat out of you? Look at those black eyes I had Minthara give you. Yeah, you deserve that. Don't fuck up another door, Astarian. I don't care if the, the difficulty class was 30. You have all those bonuses and you still fuck it up, Astarian. If you fuck up this door, Astarian, we're gonna have to revive you. It's only an 18 this time, Astarian. If you fuck this up, you are the most pathetic rogue that ca that has ever been born. Yeah, that's Oh, and now you roll the 33 first try. Astarian, you're getting on my nerves today. You're getting on my nerves, and we haven't even started. Gods. Why are there rats? Why are there rats? Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. What's going on with the rat? Oh, wait, I know what the... Hello, rats? Hello? And then he hissed at me. Okay. Uh, what does this rat look like exactly? Is that enough? Can I roll high enough? Oh my god, I rolled not high enough. Never mind. I thought I did. <laughs> nothing I know right. nothing. It's just a rat, gang. It's just a rat. Even An altar? I will beat the shit out of you for acting like these rats care any little bit about your god, Shadowheart. Do you really think these fucking rats care about your god? Uh, uh, listen. Uh, Shadowheart. Do you think it's somehow a good thing that rats worship your god? Or what if the only creature lowly enough to actually worship this shitty god is a rat? Are you putting yourself on the same level as a rat to start, uh, uh, Shadowheart? Are you really on the same level as a rat? Yeah, think about that one. Your religion sucks. I would love to replace my Astarian with Hoops Rogue. Would probably do well. What is this? I just want to loot the sarcophagus. To the dark lady. Wait, this is a place of offering, not a place May of taking? Fuck. World. May she embrace the entire world. Shadowheart, can you stop being such a fucking... You know what? I'm not going to pray at this, but I'm sure Re Shadowheart would. Ready. I'm sure you would. Why don't you go ahead and, re and, and offer prayer, huh? Go ahead, Shadowheart. Your prayer. Away. Nothing comes to you in return. Oh, look at that, Shadowheart. Your God doesn't want to talk to you. Wow! Isn't that crazy? Wow, your God... Give yourself over entirely? She probably would. She probably would. All right, Shadowheart, go ahead and give yourself to your god, or whatever that's supposed to mean. I guess I can sit back and watch you make foolish decisions, because you sit back and watch me make them, too, so... It's only fair, I suppose. A hard-won blessing. A hard-won blessing. She rolled one time and instantly got it. What is this? Oh, wow. Well, good for you, Shadowheart. You gain resistance. Do we even deal with necrotic damage here? A water pump? Okay, that's cool. Anything interesting in this kitchen of theirs? Mushroom soup? That's disgusting. Who eats mushrooms? I don't. Shadow Hot, this temple is mighty boring. What do we have over here? Oh, a chest, Shadowheart, wait. If this chest has 50,000 gold in it, I will I will instantly drop down and start praying to your god. Okay, Shadowheart, if this has 50,000 gold, I will instantly become a more devoted Shah follower than you've ever been. 
It had 21. Your god sucks. Your god is garbage. Fuck your religion. A key. What is this? The handwriting is a hasty, lopsided scroll. Scrawl. About the pages are blots of ink what in what may be smudges of dried blood. Hmm. <sighs> Lady Shaw continues to preserve me. Though escape is impossible. The beast still prowls our halls. Oh, so this is just someone dying to that fucking panther thing that we killed. Uh, actually, <laughs> I can't believe I get to bring it up immediately. Remember that demon I had kill itself? Yeah, that's right. I'm kind of a badass. He even killed his cat. That's the thing that killed this guy. Look, and he had a Justicia helmet. Isn't that interesting, Shadowheart? This Justicia, the very thing you've worked your entire life to become, was felled by a simple panther that I got to die just by telling a guy to do it. Isn't that interesting, Shadowheart? The thing that just shit all over the Justicias. The very thing you've wanted to become for your whole life. Died because I told a guy to kill it. <laughs> oh, I'm way above your religion, girl. Surely you convert to lemonism soon, right? I'm way better than Shah. I'd even say my flute is divine at moments. Another rat. These rats are all acting strange today. It's following me? Wait, it turned around to follow me and then it stopped looking. It's pretending. <gasps> what the fuck? No, you. there's no way you just tried to swing on Minthara and expected to live. There's no way this rat just tried to swing on this beautiful drow woman and expected me to allow it to still live. Oh my god, the audacity of that creature is mind-boggling. Nothing of value comes easy. Overcome my trials and claim my embrace. Well, what kind of embrace are we talking about? Do you really look like this shadow uh, like this statue or what? Cuz I would be I would I would embrace this statue. What do you need me to do? We have here Plaque. What is this? Most vaunted treasure. Her most vaunted treasure. Well, that sounds lovely. I'm going right in. What's this guy got on him? Nothing. Nothing. What about this Justicia over here? What does he have anything on him? Ooh, an invisibility scroll. Interesting. Well, Shadowheart. Uh. This place has got your god written all over it. Why don't you do it? Whatever it takes. I mean, this is kind of your deal, Shadowheart. So, I expect you to be the one that's going to handle everything we come across. The bowl contains an ancient rust-colored blood stain. It that's a lot of old blood there. As if spilled calmly and willingly. You recognize this as a trial where initiates would prove themselves to Lady Shah. This Shadowheart, you have to spill your own blood to even begin attempting to... impressing your goddess? Really? Shadowheart, your fucking religion is just the most awful shit I've ever heard. It was that painful, Shadowheart? Was that pain worth dealing- worth your god? Worth your religion? Stealth is a virtue derived from her very essence. Stealth is derived from your goddess herself. Is that what you want me to believe? The very concept of being hidden is derived from your god. And you instantly failed. Good job, Shadowheart. Good job, Shadowheart. How do you instantly get spotted again? All right, fuck it, just run. Oh, that's not even a door, motherfucker. Holy shit, Shadowheart, you suck. What other way would I do it, bro? What other way would I do it? How does he? 
Why are you just there? Oh, Shadow Hodge, go. Nice. Don't avoid the traps. I don't care. Honestly. You failed you failed the save. Oh god. And now she's just prone. Shadow Hot, you know, you're supposed to like do this really well for your goddess or something. Oh well, she's getting caught. It's Jova for her. There she goes. Shadow Hot, you've been following this god for your entire life. I expected you to ace this trial. Why are you so bad at everything involving your religion? I mean, really, Shadow Hot, it's almost impressive how bad you've gotten at this shit. Wait, why don't I just fucking... That is what I should do, huh? Just firebolt that bitch. Surely she doesn't go prone, even though she will. Instantly goes prone. Good job, Shadow Heart. It's only a, a deeply important religious trial. I like to think that Shadow Heart actually is just failing this hard. Yeah, but isn't it funnier to watch Shadow Heart fail? Like, sure, I could just cheese it like that, but isn't it funnier to watch her suck? <laughs> Shadow Heart, hit that grease, please. Thank you, Shadow Heart. Why did it re-grease? Did it actually just re-grease? That's a cheap trick, game. I could also just kill the shadows, couldn't I? They, it did just re-grease. That's lame. It's very lame. She's gonna fucking trip. Bro, Shadow Heart sucks at this. You've wanted to be a Justicier your whole life and you're failing this bad. Shadow Heart, all you need to do is not be dog shit at everything you try. Unseen. It's very simple. That's all you had to do. Why did I just go here? Oh, I'm brain dead. Come quiet. That's the way. Hey, you've got this, Shadow Heart. I'm kind of tired of waiting around for you. I have to admit. Don't you see? Kind of like really tired of waiting around for you, actually, Shadow Heart. I have to say. What? What did she just get seen by? Nah, that's not. E that's actually not even real. Shadow Heart just getting really annoying having to wait for you. Shadow Heart, you know I don't care about your religion, right? And I'm only waiting out of the kindness in my heart. That kindness is very small. It'll run out pretty soon, Shadow Heart. You should, like, you know, get to it already. Does he get stuck? No, bro. Bro. Fuck it, Shadow Heart. Just run. Who cares? I don't. Is it stuck in the wall? It is. Will it still see me from there? Well, that one fucking will. Especially because I just jumped right into it. But it is stuck in the wall. One of them, though. That means I get here for free, but I have to avoid that motherfucker. And she instantly falls because Shadowheart is a joke. Because Shadowheart is the biggest joke. 
And then she's gonna get see and then the grease is there, but not there, but it's there, but it's not there. Anyone else seeing this, bro? How it's just there, but then not there, but then it's there, but then it's not there, but then it is there. Shadow Heart, please. I just want to get out of this fucking temple. None of us but you wanna be here. None of us but you wanna be here, Shadow Heart. Please. Oh my god, Shadow Heart, you fucking Ugh. And then you you idiot. And now it's not stuck in the wall anymore, Shadow Heart. God, you are dog shit at this, you know? You are just really bad at it, Shadow Heart. Like re like exceptionally bad at this. Let's try it again, you shitty cleric. Let's try it again. Surely this time you get it right. Surely. Surely this time. How do you see me through a wall, bro? And then the lever takes nine years to flip. What is she doing? Shadowheart, why? Now you're just pissing me off, Shadowheart. Because she's going to get spotted too, watch. Bro, Shadow Hot, you fucking suck! Make one save on the prone, you bitch! Everybody telling me just skip like some bitches. I didn't realize my chat was full of losers that don't do the challenge. Just skip, they say. Just skip. You all suck. Do the challenge, pussies! Jesus. It's my fault, not yours, that I have a shitty cleric. How do you get seen, you bitch? <sighs> See, this is where real men and women are forged. In the fires of a shitty trial by a dumb goddess who doesn't even like you, if, even if you complete it. You just called the trials boring as shit. You're saying it's boring to watch Shadowheart suck at everything that she's devoted her entire life to? You're telling me it's boring to watch her suck at her life's mission. I think it's rather comical. She's this bad at something she's devoted her entire fucking life to. That to me is pretty funny. You better not come over here, you bitch. It went all the way around? Yo, what? Shadowheart, if you fail another fucking save on this bo- The grease goes away just to trip me. The grease goes away just to trip me. That is ins- and then it perfectly times it. And then it perfectly times it. Shadowheart, it seems like your god wants you to fail. Isn't that funny? Isn't it funny how your god wants you to fail, Shadowheart? I'm just saying, by now you ha you've had to have started reconsidering your religion, right? I mean, surely at this point- How do you get seen? They're not even anywhere near you! You know, maybe after she remembers all of this, she will actually become- anti sharon that would be the greatest case scenario because man what kind of god would put your your devout followers through this bullshit see what i'm saying you have followed shah for your entire life and this is what your god's doing to you man being a sharon is being stupid he's gonna come over here and see me He's gonna walk right into this room. Holy shit. And then he turned around. What is that? Shadowheart, I just wanna go. I just wanna leave. I don't want to be in a Sharon temple, Shadowheart. Please, if you die, we're leaving your corpse. Shadowheart, if you die, we're leaving your corpse. 
If you die, your corpse is being left in the temple with your goddess. You can rot with your god. I don't care. Oh, you need healing. I'm sure you do. Hey, isn't it crazy that you're a healer? Now she's going to go out of her way to make sure she doesn't die. None shall see me, she says. And then she instantly gets spotted. But none shall see me, she says. None shall see me, she says. Shadow Hots, you need some motivation. Minthara hit her. A little help, please. If you die in there, I'm leaving you. Unseen as I was taught, she says. Disadvantage. Hey, how about you take that off? Yeah, fuck it. I don't care if you have to be nude. Just fucking do it. Please. We need to leave this fucking temple. Your god is awful. How? How? In what universe is that real? She didn't even fucking deserve that one. She didn't even deserve that one. That one was a joke. Let's get on with it. Try again, Shadowheart. That one wasn't fair. Perfect. You got that lovely scroll of invisibility. Well, now you know. I don't. I don't think we want her to be invisible anymore. Kind of hard. All, all I ask is that you just stop being awful at this, please. Oh my god, why is he juking you? Kind of hot. You're not supposed to get juked. It's a literal shadow. Why would it turn there? Ah, they're doing some sus shit. And then she makes... She doesn't ever hit a save. Kind of hot. I'm just... This... This is a joke. Shadowheart, can we just leave? Can we just leave? And then you got trapped. Holy shit, you got trapped. She actually did. Alright, well, Shadowheart, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you in there. Um, have fun. Have fun, Shadowheart. Have fun. We'll go do other shit. You decided to do that one. Good for you. Oh, what's this one? The self-same. Oh, this trial blows. Starring, we need to heal you. Off we go, then. Yes, off we go. I fucking hate Shaw. Hey, Starring, you want to do this blood thing? You want to do this blood thing, Astarian? I kind of don't want to do it myself. I'm a little squeamish. Mm. All right, Astarian, you go ahead and do it. You like blood, don't you? Bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Go ahead, Astarian. Go ahead. We're doing this for Shadowheart. Don't ask me why. She's far too annoying to deserve this, but... I guess if I stumbled into a literal entire temple built to my god, I would want to do some shit for that person, for that god. So I guess it's understandable, her position, but man, I don't want to be here. So the goddess said this was like the self-same trial or something. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means, Astarian? Do you know what, what, what? trial could possibly be called the self-same trial doesn't really make any sense to me perception failed well i guess i don't know what i don't see but i know more than i should probably now i have a sneaking suspicion gang that there's going to be combat coming up so all i'm gonna say is we're missing shadowheart because she's trapped and dog shit at her religion and she can't even do one simple trial for her god. So we have to 3v4. Which should be possible. It should be pretty fine. But we could also die right away. I don't know why we're doing this for Shadowheart really. But we are. Uh oh. 
Oh, they only surprise me. That's actually good for me. He disarmed Lemon and nearly shit on Lemon instantly. Man. Man, so Lemon's dead. To Oblivion I go! I was gonna sunbeam you. Well, we're fucked. So we're fucked. Yeah, we're boned. All right. This is what it wants me to believe Lemon looks like. And he's currently invisible. And there he goes. Nice. This is what Shadowheart got us into. Thank you, Shadowheart. I'm real glad we came here. <laughs> I'm real glad I followed Shadowheart into the Sharan Temple. Yep. Ah. Kiss a girl one time and follow her to your death. The life of a bard. Kiss a girl one time and follow her into your death. Wow. This is immaculate. I'm never following a girl ever again. Why did I just take a screenshot? I hit the wrong fucking button. They apps they got more than stomped. They got I'm not even a shit stain on the mirror boots anymore. Like lemon got eviscerated. <laughs> it's just because we failed the stealth. That's all it was. We literally get the easiest fucking 3v4. I actually didn't even see Shadowheart. I feel like it didn't even summon her here. Wait. It actually didn't summon her here, did it? Oh, I don't have a save outside of it. Okay. I was going to reload and have Astarian do it on his own, but... Because I don't think it even summoned Shadowheart. Okay, we just have to catch them off guard. I feel like I just died just now. Any Anyone else? Uh, Starring, does it feel like you just died and came back to life with a click of a button or what? Like I just died and resurrected. For some reason, I've... Uh, it seems to me that there are enemies in this room. But I'm not sure how I know that. Okay, do we have a bomb? Do we have a bomb? Can't we... Use... You know what? Fuck it. Use a cloud. Yeah. Use one of these. Wait, we got surprised? How did we get surprised? Wait, how the fuck did we get surprised? Lemon died because we got cheated out. Dude, how the fuck did we get surprised? That's not even fair. That's not... And this Astarian just does 47 different actions. I'm reloading. How the fuck do we get surprised there? And then their Astarian just does 47 different actions. Brother, you have one action. You don't even have two bonus actions. You're an assassin rogue. You're not even a thief. What was that? Well, so this trial is some bullshit, isn't it? That's lovely. This trial is some bullshit. Well, cloud kill is clearly not the option. Fuck it. Ice storm, go. I hit Minthara. Minthara, I'm sorry. We got surprised again. Bardic, die. I need to crit you. I'm still not in combat. I'm still not in combat. Do I get this for free? I mean, I will take it. Don't get me wrong. I'm taking this all every fucking day of the week. After their Astarian just one man show killed my whole party. Nice. Nice. 
It incurs cheater's folly. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. I didn't even notice that was a thing. That's probably tactician. Stream has been going for over two hours. Why the fuck am I still alone? Yeah, I don't know. The YouTube the YouTube regulars just didn't show up today. I have no idea why. Nobody showed up that one stream earlier. That's normal. That shows up in normal too. Then I've completely ignored that mechanic every time. <laughs> I've completely ignored that every time. All right. Well, drop a cheeky save and move up again. The other Astarian buddy is... Oh, there's me. There's me. Let's kill me. Astarian? Fuck cheetahs, Folly. Just kill me. I don't care about the cheetahs bullshit. I... It is so beyond unfortunate that you missed there, Astarian. I have to say... The fact that you missed almost made me cry. Good job. Good job. Good job, Astarian. Good fucking shit. Good shit. Now, before I end your turn, we need to creep up and get some free shots off on this man before he gets stunned. This is how you get multiple turns out. Boom. Boom. And then you go to me. Boom. Boom. Okay, well, I miss. I suck, but that's fine. Oh, God. He's going to kill us all. He's going to one-shot us. Oh, God. Please, no. Not me. Oh, you're going for a star. He dropped his shit. Oh, no. That's really bad for us, actually. How do you... Oh, my God. How do you have action surge? Astarian doesn't have action surge yet. You're cheating. It's because you're one level higher. Oh my god, that's why you have so many actions. Well, there goes Astarian. That was horrifying, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't realize they were one level higher than me. I must say. Um. Let's just hit him really fucking hard. Let's just hit him really, really fucking hard, yes? I feel like, ah, what's gonna do more to him? What's gonna do more to him? You know what? I'm probably going to face Undead later. Use the Searing. Kill this man. That really didn't hit him for all that much. But that's... That's... That's totally fine. Uh, surely I don't fuck around and lose here, right? Surely I kill him? Oh, God. Lemon, don't miss. Oh, God. Lemon, please. Oh. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, well, let's revive the shitty vampire. Uh, sorry. He's not a real vampire. The shitty man that thinks he's a vampire because he's delusional. Well, that went pretty well, I must say. That went pretty decent. I did multi-class all of them, but he doesn't have he doesn't have action surge yet, because he's not he's not another level. The reason that one had action surge is because they were all level seven, and it put another level in fighter. Okay, well, good job. Are we close to a level? Yeah, we're fucking... We're a bee's dick away. Oh, I forgot Shadowheart is nude because the fucking stealth shit. Maybe you can do it now, Shadowheart? Maybe you can get out of there now. No. Do I actually have to come save you, Shadow? I don't. Didn't even know that. I thought I would have to save her. Wait, is the trial canceled? It is canceled, isn't it? But I have the key. Can I just go get the orb? She's going to trip and fall. She's going to trip and fall. She does it every time. You like the shell? Oh, but you had you had the key though. Hmm. Maybe this is what the key. Yes, there we go. It's not there. Fuck. Wait, what if I just sit here and go start it to someone else? Ooh. Maybe this cheeky shit will work. I have no idea.
Shadow Heart, have you figured it out yet? Are you done with the trial that I left you to do? Listen, girl, I'm literally better at being a Sharon than you are. I finished a sh I finished something. Contains an ancient <sighs> stain. It's a, a star, and if I cut my wrist here, do you think Shadow Heart will give me another kiss? Is this worth doing a, a starion? Oh god, I hope she gives me another kiss. Maybe it'll be worth it. It won't be, but maybe it will be. Ow. Wow, good job, Shadowheart. Wow. Put your fucking clothes back on. And heal a starion, you bitch. Yeah, heal a starion, please. I cannot believe we're in this position because of you. I really can't. I will, um... Here, let's do a short rest. Fuck it. Why not? Wait, no, I restored... Wait, what did I just do? I don't even know what I did. Let's go. Now. Shut heart. I've done a trial, and you've not really done a trial. You've just been saved by me. I don't care, Shadowheart. I really don't. I'm too annoyed with you today. You failed the only trial you've tried, and then I instantly succeed. I didn't instantly succeed. I, I actually rather died right away. A hanging corpse? A very gory idea of art. That is a very gory idea of art. It's got three additional arms stitched into the shoulders. Does she have a badonka donk? Oh, she does. Well, that's nice. Holy, holy smokes. Wait, you know whoever made the, you know whoever put this statue right next to the stairs was a man, a, a man of God. A man of, oh, that man loved titties for sure. Who puts a stairway right next to the titty statue? I mean, whoever did is just a fucking genius. What of you? What of you? Shadow Heart, I'm thinking I'm starting to understand why you like Shar so much. If you just showed me a few more of those statues, you would have had me on board before you started talking, Shadowheart. I'm just saying. Shadowheart, I think you need to figure out a new marketing strategy for your religion. If you just showed me more statues with titties, I probably would have been more down. Oh, God. Not to this fucking one. This one's actually awful. Shadowheart, you're doing it. It's your God. Go ahead. You wonder how Shar feels if she sees some guy humping her statue? <laughs> Another trial to judge on that note, on the image of some guy just thrusting his dick like a madman into a statue, I'm gonna go take a bathroom break. I will... let's just... Let's just leave us in silence with the image of a guy humping a statue. That would probably hurt, right? Like, imagine your balls smacking into stone. That probably hurts, like, a lot.
can I be the first to say what the fuck? <laughs> Can I be the first to say that I fell off as a streamer already? Nobody's showing up on the YouTube side of things today, bro. It's just platinum and hoop today. Platinum and hoop are my real ones. All right, go ahead, Shadow Hot. Let's get this shit done with. This is the last trial we need to do, right? Now, out of character. This trial has given me so much trouble in the past, so often. Even the darkest recesses of Lady Shalvenbrace. We must remember where to I actually don't even know, like, how you're properly supposed to do this. Genuinely. I must remember where to step. And this one has shit on me, me at every turn. I really, uh... uh don't know what you're actually supposed to do for this one, other than just follow a path. But I... Always fuck up. Shadow Hot, you've got it, right? Right, Shadow Hot? Please? Nope, you don't have it. This one will probably take us a while. And I wish I was joking. And I wish that wasn't the case, but it probably will. Alright, one more try, Shadow Hot. You've got it. You've got it, right? You've got it? You don't. I don't think you've got it. And she's dead! It actually instantly killed her. Holy fuck, her leg! What happened to her leg? Oh my god! Shadowheart, your god is... Possibly the single worst deity you could have chosen to fucking worship. You fucked up one trial and this is what she did to you. You're a corpse now. Oh my god. She messed up one trial and fucking died. Where's my last save? Oh my god, it's the self same. I have to burn a scroll, man. Shadowheart, this is a fucking joke. Shadowheart, this is an absolute travesty. We should have never come here. We should have never come here. We've wasted two Revivify scrolls now. Go ahead. Oh my god, you failed? You can't even do it now, Shadowheart. You're telling me I have to do it for you? Oh, fuck. Shadowheart, if this gets me killed, I am never... L l fucking listen to me, Shadowheart. Fucking listen to me, Shadowheart. If this bullshit trial from your bullshit religion, from your bullshit god, gets me killed, we are never going to ever talk about Shah for the rest of our days in being with you and my company. You know what, Shadowheart? If I die here... And I hear the name Shar one more time. I'm gonna kill you myself. Do you understand me? You better fucking hope and pray I don't die. You better hope and pray I don't die. Up. Left. It wasn't left. I'm dead. Dude, the shit this trial does to my corpses. The shit this trial does to corpses is... Unreal. The, the shit this does to corpses is unreal. What happened to Lemon, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Buddy's leg is in the floor. Okay, let's reload. <laughs> That's just. Oh my god, Shadow Heart. Why am I doing this for you? Okay. Where's my ender pearl when I need it? Why can't I just throw an ender pearl to the end of the room? I would have saved an ender pearl for exactly this. Have a lot on my mind and well, just in it. Here we go again. Navigate the Wait, dark. I failed?
I can't reset the trial. That's why everyone's instantly dying. The trial's not reset, so I don't have any of the buffers anymore. All right, he said you you stick far right. Far right. I'm dead already. You lied. <sighs> I'm throwing corpses at this. I don't care. I'm throwing corpses. Oh, it just shows you them? Wait, it just shows you them. Oh, that's fucking lame. Why did I never actually see that before? I guess it's not lame, because that's how you're supposed to actually see it and do it. But I just feel like there could have been, like, cooler shit. <laughs> there could have just been cooler ways to do that. I am also doing this with the fucking WASD mod. All right, I'll give this a try just for you, Shadow Hot. Just for you, Shadow Hot. Trust me. I think I have to move the whole party away. I'll be able to see it better, hopefully. Or not. Okay, I kind of thought tactical view would be decent, but it's not. Okay, I see where I'm going. What I don't see is a path after that. Okay, never mind, I do. You're still breathing. Here we go, Lemon. You've got it, Lemon. The tactical view is bad. It just puts the camera into the fucking... Okay, you go like here, and then you go... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Lemon, you're doing it. Lemon, you're doing it. <sighs> lemon, you're dead. Man, Lemon, you were doing it! Oh, man. <laughs> The way it just tosses the corpses is so funny, bro. <laughs> the way it just tosses them. Uh, you know what? No, Shadowheart, you do it. I'm tired of dying for you. I'm tired of dying for you, Shadowheart. You do it. You didn't. Uh, I'll do it, you incompetent bitch. I'll do it, you incompetent bitch. Go here. Then, like, go here. A little bit more. A little bit. And then go straight. From here, I officially don't know. And I'm dead. Why would it put my corpse here? Why? What is it doing to me? Why is it violating my corpse? Jesus. We're gonna be here for a while. It is what it is. I told you, Lemon the Bard is very bad at this trial specifically. Specifically this trial. I wonder how they do this in speedruns, if they even do it at all. They probably just completely skip this place, right? It's very easy. Oh, okay. You're just gonna patronize me now. I see how it is. I wonder if you can make this jump. If you can just immediately jump now, because she walks out. What if you jump up here first? This is not necessary in the slightest. And she just walks herself off because she's fucking brain dead. Why wouldn't you jump from the ledge? Shadowheart, I told your dumb ass to jump from the ledge. Trust fall jump. Trust fall jump. Larian should have added the gender change belt from BG1 to BG3. Could you imagine? <laughs> I saw a, a comment that said the other belt that isn't the gender change one is like the best belt in the game and you just get it that early all right surely i won't mess it up now surely we won't go here yep then go here a little bit more okay maybe not a little bit more i lied ah shadow hot i don't want to be god the way it puts your body is so funny though wait this is almost how i sleep 
Wait, real shit. This is like what I look like when I sleep. Oh my god. Shadowheart sleeps in the exact same position that I sleep in. One day I'll catch a break. Little bit. Of, okay. Go. Go here. Little bit, and it. Go, and then go, and it. That's probably too far. Holy shit. Um. I died. Hello, new friend. Hello. Oh, what just happened into Lemon's body again? Wait, I've also slept like that. Wait, they're just spawning in in my sleeping positions now. You're allowed to be wherever you want to be. Imagine how hot female Gale would be. I'd rather not imagine. Actually, I would imagine female Gale. Wait a minute. If Gale was female, I'd be down to do the Gale romance. If you didn't know, how am I supposed to say your name, by the way? Saba? I'll call you Saba. If you didn't know Saba, I am also live on YouTube. So if you ever hear me replying to a chat message you can't read, that would be why. There is also a, a YouTube chat. Oh, how did I just click out of everything? Surely I will get it this time. What I need to do is visualize where the right is. I need to see the right turn. All right, let me move the whole party. What I need is to visual that. That's the right turn that's shitting on me. That is the right turn that is shitting on me right there. That very turn. Shadowheart, you've got this. Shadowheart, you've got this. Go here. Okay, you don't have it. You don't have it. Oh my goodness, Shadowheart. Fine. I've got it, Shadowheart. I've got it. Don't worry. Lemon the Bard will do this. Lemon the Bard is a specialist at doing things that Shadowheart can't do. I'm a specialist. Go up. One more. And then I think I take my right here. And then I go up. Possibly a little bit more. Then I take my right. And now I'm officially lost. Now I am officially lost. Oh, good God. Wait. How far away can I fly? Yo. Wait. Hold the fucking phone. Because I don't think I have a Misty Step. Why is he trying to jump? Wait, no. He's trying to jump because I'm trying to jump. Okay, I need to make a, a little bit further. See, Shadowheart, it's easy. You just do it, Shadowheart. You just do it. Shadowheart, you're supposed to be the Sharn around here and you couldn't just fly over. You suck. <sighs> Resurrect this dumb idiot. Another waste of a scroll. Resurrect this dumb idiot. Alright, Shadowheart. Hey, you want to talk to me about how bullshit everything's going on? What's up? No. I've been catching myself smiling more lately. I think that's your fault. Oh, you've been imagining you've been catching yourself smiling and you think that's my fault. So, even though I've been insulting you this entire time and making fun of you, because rightfully so, you've been fucking up a lot. And all of a sudden, now you want to be all nice to me and tell me that you're smiling more because of me? That's just... Oh, Shadowheart, what am I supposed to do with you? Okay, well that should be all the trials if I'm not mistaken. I finished this shitty god's trial, but damn, if I had seen this statue earlier, I might not have been so anti-Shar as I have been, Shadowheart. Once again, I must tell you, Shadowheart, you don't do the greatest job of advertising your religion. Oh, not the library. Fuck, I forgot about the library. Uh, we should probably short rest, but instead... Shadowheart, can you do... Thank you. And then, why don't you just level one cure wounds yourself? Now. I wish to live in more interesting times. 
I don't actually remember. Oh, wait, no, I do remember what you have to do in the library. First and foremost, it's combat, so... Where's Mr. Astarian? There you are, buddy. Right, we can't cast spells. Right, right. How do I have disadvantage against you? In what universe do I have disadvantage, bro? There we go. Hit him. Ah, uh, do you need a crit it? Um, yeah, I want one dead quickly. Go ahead. Nice. That's why we want one dead quickly, because I get another free shot off. Yes. Yes. Now, who's the weakest one around here? That's the one I should go for, because he's the most separated away from everyone. Right. Let me park the rest of the party over here and get a starion to do it. We're going to creep our way on over. A star, and you can do it. Creep on over and kill that one when he's alone. Kill that motherfucker when he's alone. You can get there, Astarian. I wouldn't say you should go there to do it, but you, sh you should go there now. Kill it. Kill it. Woo. Nice. Another free kill. Four left to go. I think I might be able to get one more free one. Perhaps. I don't really care about getting rid of the silence, but... Okay. So I don't want to kill the librarian right away. I want another free kill on one of these fellas. I'm thinking the Nightweaver. For no other reason other than... Nightweaver sounds more terrifying than Soul Hunter. Oh no, the Soul Hunter's ranged. I should I need to go up to the Soul Hunter. Get one shot, please! Oh, it wasn't. It will be now though. It will be now though. One shot. I fucking missed. Oh my. I won't miss. A starring, you might not have killed him. I'm going to though. Die, idiot! Cool. He's alive. He's alive. That's great. Maybe Shadowheart kills him. Maybe, maybe she finally does something useful. And she fucking missed. <laughs> and she fucking missed. Why don't you run up and punch the librarian, Minthara? You rewatch the YouTube short? That's crazy. I never thought people would put YouTube shorts in playlists. Good critical hit. Good critical hit. I'm going to use another inspiration. I'm going to shoot one at the librarian and one at you. You should both die. Yes. I didn't kill the other guy, but yes. Now she's useless. She can't help. But what can you do? You can, you can, you can, you can, you give this to a Starion. Free turn, we did quite a lot with it. I like how I've, how I've approached this so far. A Starion, run up and, and bonus hit. I got rid of my soul braining for that. That was a little dumb. Okay, just, uh, just shoot him, yeah? They have Radiant Retort, so I have to not use Radiant Damage. That was a big problem the last time I met anyone that had Retort. Now, do I use another Bardic? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, because we're probably going to Long Rush soon enough, so... Boom, boom, please die. You did. Ha! Huh. Very well. I'm gonna use another one. Fuck it. Die, please! I did eight damage. Well, that was a waste. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna long rest soon. Scorching Ray them. Why not? Why not? You can't hit him from here? That's a joke. Really, Shadow Hot? Your aim is that bad? You can't hit him from here? That's a tragedy. All right, we'll kill that one then. You didn't even kill it. What? You did. 
You just did 13 damage. That was pathetic. That was mind-blowingly bad. Oh, wait. I can't melee hit them because it does radiant. Oh. Oh, I'm brain dead. Oh, I'm brain dead. Um. Fuck. Okay, I guess I have to do this. I forgot that my mace, by default, does, does radiant. I was just going to run up and melee. Can I really not? Can I go here and then get the advantage on the backstab? I can't, brother. Brother, and I can't hide, brother. All right, we'll just hit him normally then. That could have done more, but it's fine. Ow. Ow. That one hurt a lot. Athletic successful, so Minthar is going to go flying. In three... Oh. It wasn't quite in three, but it did It did happen. Alright, I'll show you all how to do it. This will kill it, for sure. It is not going to die to this, is it? Nope. It's not. Shadowheart, why don't you hit that one, please? And you did three damage. You are possibly the most useless teammate we have. Why is she blinded? Now she's not blinded. Okay. Die. Once more. And I missed. No fucking way. He missed too, for the most part. Why do you get another hit off? Bonus hit him. He di Wait, no. He's got way too much health. I'm an idiot. I had these guys flipped in my head just now. I was going to say bonus hit. Bonus hit him so he dies, and then he don't have the disadvantage to hit this one, but... Yeah, that was a kind of a mistake. No charm, because if he goes again and hits Shadowheart, she would just die. And I would love to not have to use another scroll. Uh, what are we doing here? We're just going to wait for the turn to end. What's going on? Larian, hello? There we go. Now, let's have Shadowheart, first and foremost... Since you have the weakest crossbow, there you go. You do the least damage, so you hit the guy that has the least health. That's how it works, Shadowheart. And then I hit the guy that has more, so my 12 damage and 11 damage is actually useful. We've done it. We've killed them all. Why did she just take damage for that? I don't know. All right, now we have to find some Sharin bullshit, I'm pretty sure. Um, we should also use our final short rest so we're all not half dead anymore. Now, I've kind of forgotten which specific book I need, but I do remember it was very easy to figure out which one I need, so I'm not too worried. I should probably go read the hint first. Any of these guys have a key or anything so I don't have to lockpick this? Because Astarian's lockpicking today has been horrendous. Astarian, don't fuck up or I'm going to have to hit you again. Do not fuck up or I'm going to have to hit you again, Astarian. Thank you. Now, let's see what this place is all about. Riddle of the Night. What can silence the night song? 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 I will know as soon as I see the book with the name on it. Disarm them all. Wait, hold on. Uh, easy, right? Yep, there we go. There we go. Is it? It's not the self same trial. I know sacrifice of the moon daughter. Um. I don't think it's this one. Disarm again. Very simple. The Night Singer. I don't think it's this one. No, it's not. Disarm over here. 
Good job. You're actually not fucking up your lockpicks anymore, Starion. Thank the Lord. Soft step trial. It's not that one. It probably was the interesting looking one that I didn't grab, which is unfortunate. Because then I'm going to have to run back and grab it again. Oh, it could be in there, too. I hope it's not. Oh, it's probably in there. Let's see. As long as we don't step on the traps. Teachings of Lost Oblivion. Oh. What about here? What book do you have? It's just scrolls. Alright, so I'm gonna assume... What do your notes say, sir? If the rumors are true, the answer lies within the pages of these books. It must do. A hidden way to become first among all Dark Justicias. How can I not pursue such a prize? It does not matter if I was not commanded to walk this path. Lady Shaw will surely admire my cunning and tenacity. I will scour every page, devour every word. I must find this relic. I must win a place at her right hand. Well, he earned a place in her library. I'm not sure how close that is to her right hand, but seems pretty far to me. Uh, it's probably just this book. Probably. Not sure, but it probably is. Hopefully you don't die when you put this in there, Starion. The you probably will, but... Alright, well, that's wrong. Hmm. Let's go look at all of the books once again. Get this one out of my inventory. Who cares about it? Out with ye. Uh, I think this one didn't have a book that was interesting. No, it didn't. I remember I did this like first... I, the first book I tried the first time I was here worked. You think I would have just remembered what book it was? What does this one say? What can silence only the Night Singer herself? Okay. Then it, uh, it's probably just this one. A star and let's try it again. What can silence the night song? The night singer herself. Yep. Good job, a star and you did it. See, Shadowheart, even the man who thinks vampires are real, the absolute delusional idiot that thinks vampires are real, is doing a better job at your religious trial than you are. You buffoon. At least you have a melee weapon now, though. Is this actually decent for you? I feel like that's probably having... Oh, she can use it with the shield? I didn't even know that. Good for you, Shadowheart. You've got a spear now. See fucking do. Um, I mean, that's better than what you're wearing now, I suppose. Wow, you look like a clown when you wear it, though. You look like an absolute buffoon. Look at you. Take that shit off. There you go. There you go. All right, Shadowheart. We're done with the library. Let's go put these orbs or whatever in. Speak to your god, and hopefully... Hopefully she doesn't smite me for all the trash talk I've said about her and her religion. You know, actually, I've just thought about that. Wait, Shadowheart, I hope we don't speak to your god today. I just realized all day I've been shit-talking you, your god, your religion. If Shar speaks to me now, she's gonna smite me on the spot. Good lord. Please, Shar, if you're hearing me now, my hate for you is true and genuine. That is fair, but... You have to admire the dedication to it, right? Uh, maybe you give me a reason to not hate you, Shar, and then you won't have to smite me, and I'll just become one of your devoted. As long as I don't die. Um, okay. I seem to have misplaced where I need these orbs to go, though. There's where one of them needs to go. Put it in there, Shadowheart. Insert it. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's go, team. What, <sighs> what now, Shadowheart? What could possibly be wrong? Then why are we stopped, girl? 
What the fu- What's going on, bitch? Tell me. You don't stop me for nothing. Really? I just oh, it's fine, really. Then you wouldn't have stopped me. I'm right where I need to be. Oh, you're right where you need to be. Great, then why are we stopped here? Oh my god, Shadowheart. What the fuck? Everyone on this discus looking thing. That down there, bro. Let's go. That disc! Shadowheart, we're on that said disc. Why would you say that? You use the word this. Are you too wrapped up in Sharin bullshit that you don't even know proper common anymore? Uh, so who's got all the umbral orbs? Give them all to Shadowheart. I've got... I've got three... Wait, no, I've only got two. Right, that's the necromancy book that I can't do anything with anymore. That's sad. Okay, Shadowheart, we've given you the three orbs that we had to acquire for you. Because you're dog shit at it. You're dog shit at your job. Go, 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 go in there, go in there, go in there, go. There we go. Insert. Good job, Shadowheart. Oh, that looks mighty interesting. Hey, that looks mighty interesting. Where are we going, Shadowheart? Spill the blood of Saluna! Your god requires murder now. The more I learn about Shaw and religion, the more I don't like it. I've said that so many times. You know what? I'm a bona fide Shaw hater at this moment. I struggled in your tri- That I did. I was gonna call some bullshit, but I- I most certainly struggled. Okay, so we need to long rest before we do this, though, because I happen to know there's some crazy combat coming up. Do you know what happens when a God damn it. Down on this charming plane of existence? Uh, doesn't he go right back to Avernus? He does. To the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah. Okay, yes, I told him to kill himself and he did. Isn't that impressive? He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. Well, that sounds wonderful. I would dismember him. But he has his uses. Like, oh yeah, he does have some pretty good singing singing um Are you going to train him to be a proper bard this time? I must say, he's a he's a pretty bad bard. What I'm we had a deal. Indeed. You made a deal with the devil. I forgot. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> oh, I'd love to hear it. Tell me all about the Starian secrets. I would love to know. This sounds fascinating. I appreciate a little less enthusiasm when it comes to Casador and his horrors. Shut the fuck up, Astarian. I'll be enthused about what I want to be enthused about, asshole. You think vampires are real. Your opinion doesn't matter. You should be quivering in anticipation. Quivering? What Come kind of word? Why are you using quivering? Ivory skin of yours. Yes. Is one part of an infernal contract. An infernal contract, huh? Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zark. In full. The contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual. So Okay, he's gonna do some sort of ritual, or who cares? Of profane ascension. So what, he just builds a throne and sits on it? Marvelous ceremony. Very elaborate. Incredibly ancient and entirely diabolical. Okay. If he completes the right, he will become a new Why do I care? The vampire ascendant. Oh, All it's the strengths. Raphael, hold on. Can you just shut the fuck up, Raphael? No, 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 no. I don't want to hear any more about this vampire bullshit. Even you, a devil, is playing along with Astarian's delusions now. Am I the only sane mortal being in Faerun? Vampires aren't real. What the fuck? As all worthwhile things do, Lord Cazador 
will need to sacrifice a number of souls. I'm sure he does for his bullshit vampire thing that isn't real. This is very elaborate, I must say. Imagine how he felt then when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is the stuff. You Wait, so now you've set up such a whole delusional situation where you are the most important piece of the puzzle, Astarian? That is how far your delusion has gone. Oh my god. Raphael, I don't need all these details. We know this is fake. You said vampire ascension, like vampires are real. Oh, you're finally leaving. Hey, fuck you, asshole. I convinced a guy to kill himself, and all you did was tell me a bullshit story about vampires and whatever. <laughs> if I wanted to read some fantasy, I would just go and read some fantasy, you dickhead. Cazador is a piece of shit. Wait, no. That's not Cazador. That's Raphael. I don't really... I don't know who Cazador is. He sounds fake. You said he's like some sort of Giga Chad vampire, so he's fake. That's awesome. Uh... You're with me now. You're not with me, boy. Listen, I don't want to be anywhere near you. You are getting crazier by the day. You started flexing how much sex you've had. You still believe in vampires. And now you've conscripted a fucking devil to play along with your delusions. It's insane. It's un it's unsettling is what it is. It's a lot to take in. No, it's fake. It's not a lot to take in. It's fake. You planned this from the, from the start. Well... You want to be a living vampire. I'm sure that means a lot to you, because apparently all you care about is your delusion that you're a vampire. Hmm. The idea definitely has appeal. Have you taken I your schizo meds? In my head and still walk in the sun. I finally be free of the hunger. And if I'm the key to this deal of Casadors, perhaps I can turn this to my advantage. You aren't entirely there in the head, are you? I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. Oh, you want me to help you with your delusional vampire bullshit. That's just not a chance, brother. If you won't risk taking him on for my sake, think of the innocent souls he'll sacrifice. Oh, in the innocent ritual. souls. I don't think any of those people. <sighs> my decision is made, Sorry. asshole. Yeah, I literally do not care about your delusional vampire bullshit, boy. Okay, my WASD movement isn't working anymore. That's interesting. Oh, right. No, Gail, put some fucking... Why don't you have clothes on anymore, Gail? What the fuck? Let's just go to bed. I'm... I'm so beyond appalled that that man really wants me to help him with his delusions. What is he thinking? Like, what could he possibly be thinking? Vampires aren't real. We all know that. Alright, well, we've rested up. Let's go do some Sharin bullshit. Wait, my WASD movement actually doesn't work anymore. I'm going to restart my game because I love WASD movement and I would like to play with it. Um, how much longer? <sighs> Chat, what's a good place to stop today? Because I need to stop soon because the whole point of me not sleeping today, which by the way, for those who don't know, I know I told Hoop earlier, I still haven't slept since the last stream. So if any of you were here for the last stream, I'm still awake from that point in time because I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule by just forcibly staying awake. Uh, but what's a good point to stop at soon? I could just stop here and do and save the Char stuff. But I kind of want to do the Char stuff. I'm at least going to walk into the puddle for, or whatever and see what happens. Walk into the puddle, maybe do a few things here and there, and then call the stream. 
I don't know why, like, nobody other than Platinum and Drew for two seconds showed up to the YouTube stream today. I don't know. The YouTube stream side of things has just died. I thought I made a good thumbnail, too. Oh, well. There's my WASD movement. Let's go. All right, Shadowheart. You lead the way. I guess we're going to go into whatever water this... I don't want to drown, just so you know. I have no desire to drown. I need to pray. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Actually, I completely remember. When we go in there, there's about to be a massive set of combat, right? Because unless you kill Balthazar early, you can either free Aelin... Ugh. Okay, I'm going to save that whole encounter for the next Lemon stream then. And uh, because I don't want to just end it here, I'm going to go for the next 15 minutes. We're going to do a cheeky 15 minutes of defect runs. And what's going to happen is I'm going to get no progress made at all. Come on. Just give me decent runs and we're fine. I can probably get like three runs in one run if it goes really well okay i'll take some tempest i will beat this at some point i must good relic okay i'm not gonna get a free elite that's very unfortunate good card very good relic Oh, I can't buy either. I have to reset. No, dude, you can't put the two best relics in the entire fucking game for what I'm trying to do. And I can't afford either of them. Oh, I'm resetting. <laughs> I'm resetting, brother. If I see them there and I can't buy them, that means I'm getting them nowhere else in that run. So to just see fucking three, three rooms after the start. Three rooms deep into the run, and I immediately can't get the two best relics for my run. Nah, brother, that's a reset. <laughs> Kill you. I'll take ball nine. Do not put a combat here. Thank you. I will save my money. Yes, I will save my money. Free elite. I hope this gives me a good relic. It won't, but I, I can hope and pray. What if that was the run and you skipped it? I promise you, me not having both of those relics means that guaranteed wasn't the run. I promise you, bro. <laughs> I promise you. I should have... I should have gone this way. That's fine, though. I had no way of knowing I was going to get the money I just got there. Echo form, very good early card. Extremely good early card. And now I wait out a few turns just so I can guarantee that I play it. Because this guy doesn't wake up until you break his armor. There we go. He wakes up here though, which means I got no free damage, which is kind of unfortunate, but I got my echo off, which is very good for me. Do this. Plays it twice. Get that. Nice, nice, nice. And then we do double block again because I need I need to mitigate damage here. I need to mitigate damage bad. Um, yeah. Quad evoke my lightning there. Do a lot of damage. That's the most I could do there. Um, double that and he's dead. Yep. Nice. Okay, that went well. I will happily take this card. Uh, I need to make this not ethereal anymore. So what ethereal? I had to upgrade that card because it had a modifier on it called Ethereal. What Ethereal is, is when you have a card that has Ethereal, you have to play it if it's in your hand or it goes away. So, like, let's say I just drew the card and it, it had um it had that on it. If I didn't play it from my hand, it would just vanish and I wouldn't be able to play it again. So especially for a card like that, that is extremely good for me. I need to make sure it's not ethereal so I can play it when I actually have a good opportunity to. How are we feeling on the... Uh, I should have played it there. Actually, no. Not playing it there is fine. 
How are we feeling on the no mans, by the way? I'm thinking I'll probably stream more no mans. I enjoyed it. Um, I think I hit this and guarantee that he swaps over so I can play Ethereal at some point here. Or I can play Echo. Play Echo. I'm fine to eat 9 damage. This is what it is. Um, I could double Sunder him, but there's kind of no point. Just double block it. And he's dead. Very simple first floor. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm happy to see that people stick around when I'm playing random shit, though. I don't think I'd be able to only stream Baldur's Gate without losing my mind. There's definitely no way. Send some defense. Imagine this is the run and I never have to play this again. I'm taking all that damage for fucking nothing. But then I can double sunder him. Do this. It's about as much damage as I'm going to get to get off on you. And use this. And I think I win. Yep. You're not escaping with my money, bitch. That's my money. That's my money, motherfucker. Um, this fight kind of blows for me. I wish I had this one card called Melter here because it would shit on everything he's doing, but I do not have Melter in my deck. Melter just removes all of their block when it hits them. He dies this turn, though, as long as I have something that can evoke. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I need to heal. I need to heal really badly. If I don't get a heal here, I didn't. Okay, that means I can't do the special elite yet. Dude, Paladin does so much DPS. I will never in a million years forget the first time that I faced off against the Paladin of Tear when he recruit um Karlak. And he just shit on my whole party like it was nothing. He made my whole party look like a joke on his own. He one shot my whole party. Genetic. I'm actually a big fan of using genetic. Big, big, big fan of that card. Let's go this route. I need to use the power here. I actually don't, but... Um, kill you. You're dead. Use genetic just for later. Okay, that's a actually... You know what? That's actually a very decent power to give me. Echo form, and I think I dual cast, and they die, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He shouldn't hit me here. He never does, right? Yes! This is going actually really well. Okay, it's no longer going really well. Um, Dual cast you. And I'll do this. What? I looked over to read Light Cleric Squad and didn't notice he was going to hit me, and I'm dead. Okay. Well, I think by default, now that I've died looking over to read Light Cleric Squad, I think I am just anti-Light Clerics for the rest of my days now. Yeah, why wouldn't you just change everyone classes, bro? <laughs> I still... You know what? Even on the Lemon Save, I should probably just... Respec Shadowheart right now. Because Trickery Cleric is like ass, isn't it? Isn't Trickery Cleric, which is her default, just the worst one in the game? Turn Will into a bard. <laughs> one of the greatest defenders of the Sword Coast, and the motherfucker's a bard. How does a bard become legendary in Faerun? You don't become legendary for like killing anything or having merit. I guess you just have a good song. I feel like bards don't have access to the same kind of glory as as other classes do. The only real like 
legendary shit bards do on the regular from what i understand is fuck dragons which is reg is legendary shit let's be real clapping dragon cheeks is legendary Yeah, but Hoop, Lemon Save is on Tactician, brother. He's been on Tactician the whole time. <laughs> He's been on Tactician, bro. That's why I'm... <laughs> Lemon is the pre-honor campaign. Yeah. I completely ignored doing any, like, specific builds when uh, I did my all of my campaigns on regular. Lemon's entire the the entire reason I ever played Lemon was because uh I wanted to get a practice run in or not a practice run. I wanted to get a tactician run in before I try to do honor. I honestly didn't think anybody would like Lemon. When I did the first Lemon stream and I did his voice for the first time, I hated it. <laughs> I still kind of hate Lemon's voice, but it fits too well. It fits too well, man. I can't imagine Lemon sounding like anything else. This fight should be pretty decently easy for me here, but what sucks is I have no fast high damage deal. Any any way to do fast high damage. So I just have to sit here and slowly work him down. Dude, I still have not looked at how to craft in that game one time. <laughs> I have no clue how to craft in Baldur's Gate. And honestly, you don't need to do anything in that game. All you actually need to do is have the ability to jump really far. If you've ever seen an honor mode speed run, that isn't glitchless, like it's just an any percent, you realize very quick that combat is actually just, a. Uh, it's not even necessary. <laughs> Doing combat and leveling up isn't even a, ne a necessity in, in Baldur's Gate, bro. <laughs> okay. My deck is looking a little precarious here, mainly because I removed half of my damage dealing cards just now, but still doesn't matter. I'm trying to make my deck very, very, okay, give me Necronomicon. Give me Necronomicon right here. You motherfucker. And that's exactly why it's a legendary game. Because 70% of it isn't isn't mandatory and yet it's there anyway. Cuz all that extra shit is also gas. <laughs> I just do this. This is going to be a very rough fight for me. Actually, an ex exceedingly bad fight now that I actually think about it here. Wait a minute. Do I know who the Dark Urge is? No clue. Actually, no idea. 
I didn't even think it was a person. I honest to God, I'm dead here. I honest to God fully believed that Dark Urge just existed to give players like you that want to kill shit an interesting and cool way to do so. I thought it just existed to make being a murder hobo more interesting. Ow, he hit me for three damage. All right, this run and one more run, and then I'll call it a stream. Call it a cheeky little streamy. How was it today, chat? How was the stream today? Did we enjoy the lemon? I felt like lemon felt a little extra stupid today. I have certainly noticed I am way worse at puzzles and figuring stuff out on stream. I think it's because too much of my mental RAM is going to other things instead of just trying to figure out what I'm looking at. I have never cheesed the stealth trial, for example, but I have still one shot the stealth trial every time I've tried it. I have never died in the stealth trial until today's stream, and I died in that... I don't even know how many times. I felt like a buffoon. An absolute imbecile. I see. I see. That's interesting. I wonder uh, how long are we doing? When was the last time we played Thargas? A fucking minute ago, right? I need to workshop an, an actual voice for that character, though. Not even because I hate the voice I currently do for her, which I do. But because that voice is the most physically damaging to my throat out of any of the voices I've done on stream. Easily. I'm dead again. Um, is there any way I can get a free elite? I can try and get that one free. All right, let's sit. I'm going to sit here and workshop a voice. Let's try it. Let's try it. <clears throat> oh, I am the dark urge and my urges are dark and twisted and scary. I have urges and they may or may not be dark. Can I please eat your hand? I would like to chop it off. Now, see, that voice doesn't work because it's a fucking female. That's what really fucked me. Is getting coerced into making my dark urge a girl. She has to have a deep voice. <laughs> Ah, uh, stop giving me sentries, game. This is the worst elite fight. <laughs> she is thick as fuck, though. If there's anything that stuck with me from the dunk stream, from Miss Dunk Thargas's, uh, 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 how do you say it? What is the word I'm looking for? Debut? It's how thick half-orc women are in that game. Bro, why is she caked up as much as she is? I mean, I'm not complaining, but fuck, bro. Bro, chat really does reflect the streamer. I just fully admitted that the single thing that stayed with me from that stream is how thick her butt was. We really have... I need to start cracking down on the horniness when I stream, bro. I gotta. I can't keep attracting horny motherfuckers here. But I'm not doing a good job of not being one myself. 
bad relic. What a waste. What a shit relic for me to get there. Are they just a large female body? Uh, They probably are. Are they? It looks slightly different to me, but I, I've never played a large female, so I guess I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they used a uh, large female body as a base and then just tweaked it a little bit. If they tweaked it at all. Which, I mean, they probably didn't. I'm probably just capping. Um, that hurts. Thank you. Thank you for shitting on me there. I have different standards of a dump truck, he says. Okay, so this guy's modded Skyrim before. This guy's modded Skyrim before. That motherfucker's been in body slider. Easy. Uh, those are all cards I don't want. Thank you. Please, good relics. Please, good relics right here. Good relics. Oh! Actually, an immaculate three. Why do I keep getting shovels? Bro, I never get shovels unless I'm live. I shit you not, I will play for hours off stream and not get a single shovel. And then I go on stream. This is like the 15th minute of me streaming this today. And I got a shovel already. That is ridiculous to me. Why did I just waste that card? I just wasted a card. I'm brain dead. I already have a recursion, I already have a beam cell. I honestly should take another charge battery. I'll take a charge battery. Um, I should have taken the path on the right. I'm stupid. Because now I don't get to sell my curse to anyone. That's awesome. Fuck. I'm making all sorts of mistakes this run, even though I have really good relics. I need to focus up. There we go. I don't need any of those cards. Okay, this fight's a little scary for me. He's about to change how much every card costs to play. And it's random every time I draw a card. I cannot hit him this turn. That sucks. Defense. I think I just keep pumping the defenses. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather slowly chip away at him and not die than kill him quickly but die. I could do the Oh, I can't get Doom and Gloom off with that. That sucks. Defend, recursion, do one of these. I'm chilling. Now if I if you give me dual cast, he's dead. Yep, dead. Good job, me. I will give you the curse. I don't want it. Do 10 damage to everyone. I only drew defense cards. That kind of sucks. Especially because they're going to do so much damage. Even though I only play defense cards, I'm still going to get hit. Painful. Ow. Ow. Fragment, Doom and Gloom. Um, upgrade, do this. I want to take as little damage as possible here because they're going to do a lot. Ow! Ow! I could dual cast you. Of course, you hit the guy that wouldn't die to a dual cast, but that's fine. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Mamori! Another... Gr oh, I should have... Ooh. Okay, I'm not mad about taking Melter there. But I probably should have instead have taken um, um, the multi-class that was there. Possibly a mistake I just made. 
Depends on the encounters I get. Okay, this combat is starting off actually rather rough. Rather rough indeed. And he's still not dead. Okay, now he is. That's good. They ramp up damage over time, so they honestly should have been dead already. This sucks. Die? Thank you. Ow. I don't need that. I should heal, because I'm going to be forced to fight an elite here. Uh, throw one of these. Defragment. Get that. And I need all the defense I can get here. And to kill you. You are going to hit me for three. Here's why Melter's good. This is one of the few fights where Melter is extremely good. And that's why I'm not mad about taking Melter over Multicast. Even though Multicast will do much more for me if I have it for the boss fight. But as we saw yesterday, I have to get to the boss fight. I didn't even get to the boss fight. That was bad. Okay, I need an AoE. I need an AoE here. I need to burn that, kill you. Actually didn't need to do that at all, but that's fine. Bro, why are you gonna hit me? You never hit me when you have no minions. This is bullshit. The reward you get for targeting his minions is supposed to be that he doesn't target you that turn because he's gonna respawn them like he does here, but he still decided to hit me, which is some bullshit. He should not do that. Motherfucker is cheating. And now I'm dead here because he did that to me. I'm actually dead here because he just did that to me. Bro, that's a joke. I only die because he does something he never fucking does. Guys, I have 300 hours in this game. The amount of times I have done that fucking elite fight is probably in the hundreds. And that's like... The 10th or 12th time I've ever seen him decide to fucking hit me there. This is the last run. Because I'm tilted off of what he just did to me. He actually should not have do done what he just fucking did. He shouldn't have. That made zero, zero type of sense. And he only did it because it was going to guarantee that I died. Which is fucking appalling. It might just be copium because of the fact that I haven't beaten this game after 300 hours it might just be copium but i am a firm strong believer that this shit is rigged as rigged as it can get i think vegas is less rigged than this fucking game i'm resetting again bro stop giving me shit runs just give me one half decent run bro please and then i can try and sleep bro, what are these fucking paths stop give me a good path please this is why I have 300 hours, because it's 200 hours of me fucking resetting runs, and then there are only 100 hours of me actually trying to run. Like, what the fuck is this path? Stop with these shitty-ass paths, bro. Why? One more, please. Just a good path. That's all I ask for. And you don't give it to me. I'm going to bed. All right, well, that was a... It was a stream. Uh, Next time I stream will probably be... It it could be lemon again. Um, possibly. Why was my display capture on? I don't know why that was on. Oh well. Anyway, I don't think I have anything else to say other than good night, everybody. I'm gonna try and sleep now. Hopefully my sleep schedule gets fixed. That'd be awesome. And uh, hopefully I can maintain more consistency with the streams for you guys. Don't know why none of the other YouTube motherfuckers showed up today bummer i already fell off but surely i won't fall off tomorrow all right peace out everybody i probably have to snow blow when i wake up and that sucks oh good night stop i didn't even know you were still here how'd you enjoy the stream how was your first time here curious i didn't think you were still here i thought you dipped i'm not even gonna lie